<laughs> Hello, Toe Man John. What's up, gamers? Gamers all around the world. I said I would finish this game, and I, uh, I guess I will. It's been hanging over my head. Like, I can't, I can't even believe that I only have, I, I beat the whole game except the last story. And yeah, I know, I should have just beat the last story at the end of the last stream, but I, I was tired. I didn't want to go through the whole last story. It's a fucking ordeal. It's an ordeal. <laughs> Thank you, Thanatos Wave. Happy New Year. I mean, it, it's not the New Year yet, but happy preemptive New Year. We're almost there. God, we are almost there, aren't we? It's almost 2022. What's up, Lendvel? Yeah, more content. More more Sonic 06 content. I'm just gonna let people trickle in for the next couple minutes. You know how it is. Obviously, VOD watchers skipping ahead. They're not even listening to this bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Gordibulon, back in the saddle. I kind of, I need to finish this game out before I, like, at least when it's between characters, I was like, okay, it's a new campaign. I did each campaign in one sitting, right? Or story. I mean, I guess you can call it a campaign. It's not really the end of the world, but if I wait too long, I'm gonna forget how to play this game, and then I'm gonna get even more. I'm gonna have even more trouble on the last story. I, I I can't I can't accurately predict. I keep promising this whole stream. I'm promising lots of deaths and game overs, and I kind of delivered, right? I mean, I've had a, I've had some funny, wacky deaths and gamer moments. I haven't died that much, but that might change on the last story. Um, maybe it's not even that hard, but I remember Pokey Captain and Co. had trouble with it. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in, especially first time viewers. This is uh, the very end of the game, unfortunately. Although, I, my plan is to finish the game and not like immediately turn off the stream, but to just fuck around. I did not end up hooking this shit up to the internet and downloading the DLC. You can't even get all the DLC on PS th or, uh, PS3. And I think there's even some Japanese exclusive, but I might have to double check on that. Someday I'll do a DLC run. First of all, I want to see if it's added to Project 06. And if it is, I'll just play it when I play through that on stream eventually. <laughs> and uh, if not, then I guess someday I'm promising, ten, like ten years from now or, or maybe less, I'll do I'll do a 360 run of this. And uh, in the 360 run, I can I'll do all the uh, DLC. Oh, it's so arcade. What's up, all my my viewers? My viewers, they're here to view me. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't worry, Jabo. I, I will stream Sonic Adventure 2 again. I'm actually in the middle of my SA2 playthrough. I'm going for the world's slowest playthrough. I did Hero Story, then I'm going to wait a year, and then I'm going to finish Dark Story, and I can I can put myself on the leaderboards the time of one year. <laughs> one year time. But, uh, yeah, that's another game I... I, I've been meaning to stream more Sonic shit. I'm, you know, I, I, I have plenty of non-Sonic related shit I want to stream, but obviously, I gotta finish Sonic 06. This was one I like, I had to do, even though I kept joking about how I'd never do it. Obviously, I'm gonna do it. What am I gonna not do it? Hey, what's up, Suzanne C? <laughs> luffy Christmas. It is a very luffy, luffy Christmas indeed. Thanks. Hope you guys had a good holiday season. Oh, hey, uh, what's up? Spend 64. Uh, yeah, I never, I'm gonna, yes, yeah, gamer shame a moment, but I, I never bothered getting all the A ranks in SA2 and doing all the missions. I just, I, I mean, I had an action replay, so I was too tempted to just play Green Hill Zone and just cheat, and that's, that's exactly what I did. I cheated, and then I played it, and I was like, okay, well, now I don't have to get all the A, a ranks. So that's another one, like, it'd be fun to do on stream eventually, just get, like, all the A ranks. That would be, like, a very... Tedious project. That'd be more like of a long-term goal type situation. <laughs> Yo, Navi asks, why not spend the holiday playing a game I enjoy? I, I don't know. I, I do get a sort of perverse, sick pleasure from this game. It's not even that bad. Plus, I'm already past, like, the worst of it, I, I think. Speaking of past the worst of it. It's a pretty long cutscene, so let's, uh... We got some people here. We got people trickling in, so... Let's just get this... If you're here last time, or if you're if you're just watching the the vods, you're gonna have to watch this cutscene twice in a row. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I can't just like skip it now and then like let all the new viewers like have no context towards the end. 
Yeah, someday I'll get those freaking A ranks. That's uh, this cutscene, normal boring name, so stay tuned. This is everyone's favorite cutscene, probably the most infamous cutscene in the entire freaking game, am I right? I mean, am I think am I forgetting something even more? I mean, I, I don't know. This is the one everyone always <laughs> mentions, right? Yeah, Colorado says, I miss these kinds of uh, Sonic plots. You know, they don't all have to be as goofy and you know, melodramatic as 06, but I do kind of miss them too, you know? <laughs> that that sound effect is like, Ugh! it's like, this is like an energy beam. It should be going like, or like but it's like completely silent. It's like, whip! Like, why does it sound like that? <laughs> it only has that guttural, like, glaw sound. I mean, the, the, the fact they even did, like, the black and white is <laughs> also kind of funny, honestly. Sonic. Oh, sorry. Um, by this cutscene, I mean this entire cutscene. So, yes, in this, the kiss. I mean, the, I mean the entire opening salvo of cutscenes. Yeah, I guess, I guess that wasn't clear. I guess you could have interpreted that as me talking about just the Sonic death. I mean the Sonic death and the kiss. But I guess separately, yes, the kiss is the one I was specifically speaking of, is like the iconic one. What's up, Nick B and Nick B? I don't know how you how you're supposed to phonetically say that, but thank you for saying you've been a fan for 13 years. That's a it's a long fucking time, right? No matter what. I just I'm I'm just assumed everyone has already like seen this cutscene. I mean, I because I'm just like talking over it, like oh yeah, Sonic dies. Of course, Sonic dies. Like like that's not the weirdest fucking thing. Like he's not even like dead f for you know. Okay, I mean, what am I complaining? Like, oh, he should have stayed dead for like, of course, he's not gonna stay dead. That's the whole point. He's fucking Sonic. He's not gonna stay dead. Like, but you know, that doesn't mean you can never, you know, experiment with. I'm not saying you can never have like a scene where Sonic dies, but it's like the no, and then the, I don't know. It's a little cheesy. Yeah, that's right, Disco dead. Sonic is a Christ like figure. I guess he is. In this game, there's like a crucified shadow at one point. <laughs> he's like a, in this weird laser grid. Dude, Mephilus, he's pretty, he, he kind of, he kind of fucks, I gotta say. He's, I mean, apart from the fact where, I, I mean, if you, it, the thing the last time I was watching this cutscene, I was complaining about how, like, he did all this stuff just to, just to release the flames of disaster. Like, he brought freaking, like, silver from the future and the past because he wanted to just kill Sonic. But then in the end, he's just, oh, I'm just gonna fucking kill Sonic. I'm just gonna do it myself. Like, what the hell is that about? But I was saying he is kind of cool, though, because, like, he's so ridiculous, like, his design is so ridiculous when he's in his, like, crystal form. I don't even know how to explain it, but, you know, he's, like the form you just saw. I definitely prefer that to is just then like monochrome shadow, which I always thought was kind of weird. Yeah, that's so weird, Captain Sheepy, that the uh, E3 demo like looked way better. I, I don't understand. Look, whoa, this is one of the cutscenes that they actually spend a lot of money on, one of the CGI ones. I, I can't remember if I went on this whole tangent last time too, sorry, but I'm, I think I was saying something along the lines of how, like, Solaris is probably, possibly, the most powerful, in fact, I definitely did, I remember I remember the chat responding to me saying this out, is the most powerful, like, antagonist in the whole Sonic series, like, someone said Time Eater, but I'm just, I don't even, I still don't even understand, like, how exactly that works, because he was being controlled by the Eggmans, the Eggmen. And then, uh, this is also a little confusing, like, this is like some sort of Chrono Trigger bullshit where all the characters are just magically brought, well, it's like the end of time is what I'm trying to say. It's like, it's like Silver's here, right? And that's kind of confusing. Is this because of that light? The Chaos Emerald has disappeared. Silver? What are you doing here? This is all so confusing. Honestly, it's a little surprising they don't bother, like, bringing back Blaze and being like, Oh, it's okay. Everyone's here. Everyone survives. No, Blaze is just dead. She's just gone from the story. She's not really dead, obviously. She's, uh, dimensionalized or sent somewhere else, but it is kind of funny, right? What's up, Katamari O? Oh, I was just thinking, like, maybe I'll play Katamari Reroll on stream. First one was always my favorite. Like the the later games had more content and they're probably like better, but like damn, that first time. I mean, whatever your first Katamari game is, it's like, cause I mean they're all kind of the same, right? 
They got the same core gameplay, is what I mean. Not that they're all. I mean, they all, they honestly are all pretty much the same. Sonic. This is funny. This is funny. This is when they're being all melodramatic about it. Amy's like weeping. <laughs> Just the fact that it's like this dramatic music. Oh, I love this. I love this. I pointed this out last time. Everyone loves this. I don't know anyone who doesn't love the uh, the whole Eggman's like whole spiel and when he, he gives the zoom in with his fucking crazy eyeglasses. How can you? This is totally just like a retread of like last story in, o or in Sonic Adventure 2 because of, you know, it's just, oh, we got to team up with... Honestly, I was going to say it is, but you know what? They don't really team up with Eggman. He's just sort of... He doesn't really do anything, does he? He doesn't even need to be here. Oh, he's just here for exposition. Oh, um, I guess he, I guess he locates the emeralds with his glasses. I, I don't even, I don't even understand how that works. He's just jumping into this freaking time vortex bubble. No, it is a transcendent life form that exists in the past, present, and future. I still don't understand. Now would do nothing. But we do just end up defeating it here now. But we just do it with the chaos emeralds, so that no. it's, we really we'll defeat the fucking shit out of it, and then that does it. So whatever. Like I mean, I'm not saying like I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm not cinema stins plot holing this or anything. I'm just saying like, what's the point of being like it exists in all the past, present, future? You know who else exists in the past, present, and future? Me. I do. It's not that big a deal, honestly. It's not that impressive. <laughs> Uh, Jojo asks, is Sonic 06 canon? I get, sort of, mild spoilers. Again, I just assume everyone here has seen this or don't either don't, doesn't care about spoilers, but it's it's canon in that, yes, it happens. I mean, they reference it in generations, but like all the events of the game are over like in-universe overwritten to have not happened, but it, it did canonically happen and then not happen. So yeah, it's canon. <laughs> I don't know. Of course! Of course! Why didn't anyone ever think of this before? You can just bring people back to life with the Chaos Emeralds. Again, this is the, this is why they had to undo the effects of this shit on the timeline. Like, after this game, imagine if they just never brought up that you could time travel or revive people with Chaos Emeralds. Because apparently you can just do that. They're, they're just Dragon Balls. It's just the Dragon Balls. You're right, Chad. It's literally just Dragon Balls. I mean, they've always just been the Dragon Balls, but... It, they didn't have to be this blatant about it. I'll do it. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like a moot point to even bother like caring about the Sonic continuity. Yeah, this is what I was saying earlier. What does it mean? Oh, that's so cool. Why don't we, they need to do this effect more in the modern games? Just have any excuse to show Eggman doing cool eyeball hacking stuff. What do you mean in time? This is like, these are like time vortex. Do you know what I mean? And if we get two of them, then we can just time travel back to. Well, I guess I'll say for narrative sake, let's assume that wouldn't work, you know, because obviously it wouldn't. So, and what does Elise do? She just chills here with Eggman, the guy who kidnapped her. Whatever. <laughs> Again, I, I know it sounds like I'm trying to shit on the game. And I am, because it's fun. It's funny. It's just fun to make fun of the game. But, uh, I'm not really like, how dare they? Everyone, like, that's what, it's like, that's the whole point. Like, it's why I, don't, I can't even really make a real 06 video. Because, like, what, am, what what is there to say at this point? Everybody already knows this shit, but it's still fun to, you know, look at it. Like, wow. That was really a thing that happened, wasn't it? Oh, fuck. See, it's, it's been like months since I played as Tails. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Since I played as any of the Mew. Oh god, and this is like, they're not like, it's not like on a hard timer, but these gravity portals open up. I hope you guys like slow down, because there's, there's gonna be more of that in the future. And not only do the portals like suck you in and kill you, but they like spit shit at you too, right? And then yeah, that's right, you have to hit the weird eagle, Majora's Mask fucking statues. Oh boy, this one is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. I got, I got a bad feeling about this one. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, soup, soup du jour. We're gonna get the first game over. It, it could happen. I feel like Tails isn't that bad. Tails, because if you get a game over, if you go through all seven of these fucking segments again, right? It's my understanding. Okay, it's gotta be over there. It has to be over there. Every single, there's no way it's not, okay, see. I swear to God, I, I just, it has to be right there. Actually, I should have gotten those fucking one-ups. There's like one-ups like right there. Yeah, don't worry, Katamari. I already said this way earlier in the stream, but, uh, you know, I'll eventually get around to finishing Sonic Adventure, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and then that, that'll, that'll, that'll do it. I, I, it, you know, I honestly hope with Ian Flynn writing, you know, that, like, you know, he's able to inject some degree. I, I have confidence. The only thing I'm not 100% confident on is, like, Ian Flynn's not like, it's not like he's the sole writer, right? Correct me if I'm wrong on this. But I don't know, I don't think he's the uh, sole writer on Frontiers. Oh god, how do you play is I literally don't remember what buttons I'm supposed to be pressing. I'm just like mashing all the buttons. I'm like Okay. You know that that's that's the idea, that's the main way you're supposed to do this shit. Oh that's also not a bad idea, Katamari. Play Sonic Forces. That's just one I could bang out in one stream. It'd be easy. Oh god, please tell me I'm not meant to be. Fighting all these guys over here. Oh boy. The, the uh, I gotta say the lighting effect is kind of cool with the weird purple. The atmosphere of this. Okay, so like, you know the cannon score? I was sort of bitching about this already. Like the cannon score from SA2. This is sort of like a version of that, right? It's like a, I don't want to say it's a full-on retread because I'm, I'm complaining like, this is all just reused stage chunks. Like there's nothing even, you know. Cannon score was, you know, you can have complaints about cannon score. There's definitely... A lot of weird swimming bullshit, you know, like it's not all suns and roses or whatever. Oh god, I, I didn't I didn't hit jump. I forgot to hit jump. I mean, I hit the jump, but the input got aided. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh god. Please just... Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I can shoot in the air. Um, and I also got forgot what I was saying. But uh, yeah, Cannon's Core was at least unique levels, right? See, I'm, I'm getting... I, I can barely, I, I'm gonna need to have like full concentration for playing this shit unfortunately, so. You know I'm already not great at commentary, but. In particular, this is gonna be brutal. Okay, so you can like hover forever by just spamming attack. That's good to know. Oh, what's up Tectonic Improv, how's it going? Yeah, uh, we're pretty close. Okay, so theoretically we're close to the end of the game, but it's gonna depend on, ooh. That was risky. It's gonna depend on how fast I can, how many try attempts it takes. Theoretically, if I d did the rest of it without dying and I was like a speedrunner, there's only like half an hour of game play left. I mean, am I right? Because you have to do the, this, and then there's the Solaris boss fight, and I, that that's it, right? I don't, I don't there's, there's nothing else, right? Something else, right? Yeah, I agree, Spen. The whole like just making you replay old content right before the end of the game. That you see in like old Mega Man games and stuff. I'm not, I've never been at least at least a boss rush. There's like something to that, right? I I don't know. I'm not like just completely excusing that behavior. This is just even more like, ugh. Oh God, see, I was gonna say I wasn't I wasn't actually intentionally aiming myself over there, if you couldn't tell. That was that was the gravity of the uh, the uh, I don't even know what to call them black holes. I guess it is so weird. Everything just like immediately turns back to the regular colors the second, the second that happens. Am I am I just, like safe if I'm, I'm up here? Can you can you please die? I'm not I'm not even hitting him. Oh my god, we we traded kills. We traded kills. Okay, goddamn. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do this in like chunks. I'm gonna have to talk to chat and then play the game. Because I, I, he's like, okay, I, I, I only have four lives. That's not a big deal. Except I have, I have way more segments. I'm going to have to, like, trial and error my way through those, too. Oh, God. And, yeah, I'm, like, sitting here talking when I should be doing this shit as fast as possible. Because these black holes form. And the only way they go away is via... Oh, yeah, I should be just mashing up. That, that, that's on me. At least I can remember that there's tech that I forgot. See, this is why I was saying I should just beat the whole game in uh, one sitting like those uh, pokey captain lads. All right, you know what? This is exactly why I uh, didn't want to do this at the end of the silver stream because it would have been very unclutch to like 
get to the very end of the game, be like, oh, Paul, we're gonna finish it, we're gonna finish it, and then I just, like, die, and I'm like, oh, we're, we're not finishing it tonight, sorry. I was like, I'll just put it off. And then, as I sort of alluded to earlier, I might fuck around in the town missions and do see what's going on over there after this, depending on how long this takes. Okay, let's just, let's just keep moving. Let's at least get some progress, like, let's get past Omega. <laughs> the way that, like, it flings boxes straight at your face. It's pretty funny, okay? This game's... It still makes me laugh, even when it's pissing me off, okay? Not not so much with this bullshit. Stop it, get out of here, you horrible worms. Please die, okay. I can hear it. I know this is the end, because I can hear the fucking... I was gonna say I hear the end of the stage ring, but it's the emerald, but it, it's the same sound. Oh my god. You don't understand how... Weird it feels with the gravity getting all fucked up. Okay, here we go, here we go. Next section, next section. Maybe we can redo I, uh, Sonic Man for you, Iron Sharp. We'll see. I think that might be one of like the selectable missions. I've never even once looked in the mission select part of the game. See, this is one of those times I'm really appreciating <laughs> the long load screens. This was actually design choice on purpose to make this part better. Oh God, oh this one. I'm getting bad feelings about this one, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. I feel like this one should be easy. I should be able to just glide my way to wherever the end is. I, it has to just be like forward, right? I think it's I think it's just this way. Oh god. You can actually see the outlines of some of those portals <laughs> before they even spawn in. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Okay, that one's not bad. Knuckles, that one's not bad. Yes, so right as I said that, someone in the shadows, uh, Knuckles segment is hilariously easy. Okay, see, gliding in a big open world, or not open world, like a larger opener map. Yes, exactly. Please, please, please laugh, please laugh at how bad this game is. I don't know, I, uh, I, I feel like it would have been cooler to have like a, see this end of the world title loading stream, well, I can't see it now, but like, oh god, oh my god. I, I almost died because I forgot about the dash, and I, I almost dashed off the edge. <laughs> but, uh, okay, what I was trying to say is, like, wouldn't it be cooler to have, like, part of the stage in that, like, Chrono Trigger-ass end-of-the-world area? That would be cool. Oh, God. This is one of the only times the tapping trick doesn't really work so well as Silver, because you need to sort of hold to escape the gravity of the orbs or the, the black holes. I think I sort of accurately conveyed what I meant to say. If you didn't understand what I meant to say, deal with it. Okay. Screw this shit. Now that's fucking speedrun tech. Oh god, please don't die. Please don't die. No! Oh my god! How did- there, and there's a thing down there? What? There, uh, what? I did not expect that. I, I, I thought I was 100% positive right there. I was about to die. <laughs> That was a... Uh, okay. See? Everyone says this game's so mean. This game's so harsh. It totally saved me. It didn't even have to do that. <laughs> I... Wow, I really was like... I was already mentally preparing my excuses speech. <laughs> god, this feels so weird. Oh god, don't jump. Jump. Jumping is gonna kill. get me killed. Look, I'm like getting... Ex not experience or whatever those things that come from the defeated enemies. Ooh. Ooh, this feels scary. This is... Those are instant death if I touch him, by the way, if that wasn't clear. I, again, I, I I honestly... I remember this part of the game more than I thought I would. I think it's just from watching the Poke Cap and Let's Play. Yes, even after all these years. You don't understand, they died so many times to this part. Whew. Whew. All right. Let's do this. Let's keep going. You know what? This is another case. I, again, I'm sure at some point during this, however many hours I've taken me to stream this, I brought a similar point up. But this is one of those times I'm grateful for the slowdown. It's, it's, it's like Mega Man. I need, I need it. I literally need the slowdown. That's why I thought it was hilarious that like slow down. You can like that's like an option in some of like the emulations, right? For like some of the old Mega Man games, like you can have in slow down enabled. I wonder if Project 06 is gonna have a slow down enabled for this. They probably aren't. Right, but that would be funny. I don't think, I, don't, I think most people like, most of the time, it's not good. 
Oh god, it's up there. It's up there. I don't even have to kill these guys. I can just I can just glide over to it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's freaking go. Yeah, okay, so the main thing I guess about the frame drops is like when they're when it's just like if it's like solid, then you're just playing in slow motion and then the game's easier. But it doesn't it just like starts and stops and that'll like throw off your momentum. So that plus like the gravity wells just is absolutely it's impossible to put well it's not impossible to put into words, I guess I should say, but oh boy. Okay, wait, maybe this is maybe this isn't so bad. If I can climb up these, okay, then this will probably just be like another Knuckles one, right? Uh I guess it's this general direction. Wait, can I just be walking on the side of these fucking things? This game is so fucking good. Whoa! Oh, they, they fall over. Okay, don't be walking around on the side of those. Don't be trying to have a fun time and laugh. Have a little laugh about the silly game. No, this is dead fucking serious, okay? I gotta I got beat this shit. I gotta beat this fucking game right now. Uh, Kai Booty in the chat asks, uh, what am I playing this on? This is a PlayStation 3 original... Original version of the game, not emulated. Uh, how did do, how do emulators handle the slowdown? Do they have a lot of slowdown? Oh god, am I even going the right way? Okay, yes, I got it. Has to be. It has to be on this beach over here, right? Or is it like on the mountain? Is it up there? I feel like it's probably up here. Um, no, it's not up there. Is it down here? Okay, it is there. God, the fucking draw distance. There needs to be a special exception for the Chaos Emeralds so I can see them from far distances away. Yeah, Rurus, this actually goes for 720p when I think a lot of PS3 games sort of fudge the numbers and had a slightly lower internal resolution. But uh, they paid for the damn resolution and, and graphics. In frame rate. Okay, where am I going? Where, where is the right drop? Okay, there's there's a spring over here. I'm already getting antsy. I'm getting antsy. <laughs> the fucking like the, the 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 crates just coming after Amy is absolutely brutal. It's like the black holes aren't just black holes. They're not just like annoying things. They're like sentient. Oh jeez, it's not even the right. Oh, it is the right way. Oh god. Oh jeez. For some reason, I just assumed Amy wouldn't be able to make that jump because I've been playing too much like Sonic Adventure 1. Whereas in this game, she's a double jump, doesn't she? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to weave through these fucking things. Yeah, it is really funny that they didn't, they like, deliberately did not include this game on the Xbox uh, backwards compatibility. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. See, I panicked because I got hit by that box I wasn't expecting. Just getting hit by the shit that's like off screen. At least like, I, when I can prepare for it, it's not so bad. Holy shit. Okay, I forgot. I forgot that she had the double jump, guys. I'm sorry. She has a double jump, she can just skip the whole, okay. The thing about her double jump is she can barely move forward. Amy, where where was this fucking double jump in Sonic Adventure 1? Like what the f what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I feel upset about this. Is there anything down there or is that no, it's just like a hole you can waste your time in. Oh god. The yeah, the the stun from the boxes will not literally knock you down and then you'll you'll just fall into one of the instant kill black holes. Someone was asking why this version, or uh, they're just saying, is the PS3 version worse than the 360 version? And that is the exact reason why we're playing this version. I thought that would be so funny, right? Hey, let's pick the first version. It's not It's not so funny right now. Okay, it's a little funny. But it's, uh... The 360 version is not, like, noticeably better. I mean, is it... Can some, is, is it do we have any real Sonic 06? lore experts in chat who played both versions did you see did you see those enemies spawn in like with the black hole just to die to it instantly like wh why even program in the enemies what's the point again the color palette with like the bluish almost purple looking aim is kind of cool i mean it's not amy it's the whole environment but it's kind of cool yeah, that's right, Haunted Chasm. Uh, the 360 version has gondolas, and the, the PS3 version doesn't, apparently? 
I can't believe I didn't know that that incru- that crucial difference that l- alone makes the PS3 version like a full point worse. Like it doesn't even have gondolas. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I love gondola. Is <laughs> the love whoever about that guy. Oh god. Okay. See, this is the one I was nervous about. This is gonna be like a real level. Okay. Something about homing attack on the fucking uh the rope bridges or not bridge, but like whatever you want to call it. I don't like doing it, okay? I just feel like it's not gonna work. Oh, jeez, and the fucking thing spawning up here. Is that eagle coming over here? Is that what I'm meant to do? Or, or, or is this like something else? I am meant to do that. No, I am, yes, okay. <laughs> eagle, can you just chill? He had to like go and leave me, and I was like, okay, I guess it's not him. Oh, fuck, Shadow has like a light speed. I need to do his light speed. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Not that one, okay. Well, I gotta figure out what the button for Shadow's light speed is. <laughs> oh, it was that button? It's the, uh, is it? Oh God, I just, I, just wanted to I just wanted to show off the attack. I just wasn't close enough. Okay, good to know, I'll go for it again. Eagle, can you just be chill? Do I have to like homing attack you? I guess I do. You have to homing attack the eagle. For some reason, in my mind, you do not homing attack the eagle. All right, tell you what, I'll just make as much of a jump as I can. Oh, there we go, you're right. You know what? I guess I just wasn't close enough. That's on me, my bad. That is, uh, you know, oh God. I hear people bring that complaint up with SA2, which is that there's so there's plenty of buttons on the damn controller yet every single action thing is like assigned to one button oh my god you do not understand how close i was to fucking dying right there that's a legit complaint with sa2 um they just did it they just didn't do it right they should have freaking had more buttons or utilized the buttons better i don't know I, i'm not I love, I love to make excuses for that game but uh i'm not gonna just even, even shit like nobody makes excuses for, like the gimped radar, which is worse. I'm not gonna say that it's not worse. It is worse. Oh god. But, uh, you know, the radar in SA1 was kind of arguably too good. Because you beat the levels so fast. Okay, see, I just had to, I just had to get into the zone, which was Sonic Adventure 2 apologist rhetoric. As, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm spouting that shit, my mind is just on autopilot, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not done yet. It's not over yet. Don't worry, guys. And I have no idea how to fight this boss. It's just like every, you know, final boss in a Sonic game, you have the Super Sonic gameplay. You have to admit, it's pretty cool. There's three Super Hogs. That's like the most ever, right? Sonic, Shadow, and Silver. That's pretty good. Right, each phase has a hedgehog weakness. That sounds about right. I knew there was like, there, he has like armor or something you have to break off. I, I don't remember. I, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I get to save after this. So it's like, now, even if I game over, whatever, it doesn't matter. I almost just hit no. I think it asks if you confirm if you want to really do it. But thank God, I almost freaking freaked myself out there. Yeah, look, wouldn't it have been cool to have a level in like one of these freaky places? How do they even get to the other time zones? What the hell? Time zones. I guess there's probably a better word for that. It's so funny to me. We didn't get one fucking word. Not one line of dialogue in Sonic Forces about like, oh, we can't get the emeralds because of, you know, this reason. Like, they're the plot MacGuffins that solve the problems of every game. Every game. Oh yeah, here it is. Everyone's favorite cutscene. This is so unnecessary, like, you know, they could have just not had this in the game, you know? There's plenty of romantic subtext between them just from that stupid Windows XP cutscene. They really didn't need this nonsense. Did she, like, practice this monologue while everyone else was getting the Chaos Emeralds? It's such a cringe moment that even the camera, like, put some lens flare on that shit. So 
resurrected. His eyes kind of look orange. It's supposed to be red. I guess it doesn't really matter. Thank you, Luis. So his muzzle is like glowing. I don't even. I'm not even saying like this. Re this really sounds like I'm Cinema Sins digging it. I'm just pointing these out. Like oh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Yeah, her chicken legs look so weird in, in like the pre-rendered cutscenes. Like, why, why did they have to be like that? <laughs> her design isn't even bad for like a Final Fantasy game. Like, but she just, just really does not fit in with the, you know, like she's not even like a cool style. I mean, no, none of the humans are stylized in this game. That's the whole point. But like, yeah, like Eggman has been de-stylized. So what? You can just share the chaos energy? How, how does this work? Now that's a definite ding moment for me. There should be a bit where it was like, Silver's just like, ah, oh, Sonic, ooh, this is awkward, but I don't have 50 rings. I kind of got hit right before the end of the stage. So I can't go super, sorry about that. Look at this big, look at, he's got like a, I never even really, he's got like an eagle face with, antlers. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, you can't even really see it, really. He almost just looks like a big just, like, object. Like a geometric shape, practically. Like, his second form has a more, like, coherent, sort of, like, angel-y looking sort of design. <laughs> Flame of Mania. Oh, hey, it's Kingdom Hearts. Oh, Sonic was doing this kind of bullshit from way back in the day. What's a, what's a standard attack? Okay, so this is boost. Left, right, boost. Okay. That's boost forward. The light shells. Hit me with the next position. What's what's switch hey, hog? Triangle, right? Yes, yeah, triangle. Okay, I'm get I'm 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 figuring it out. Don't worry. Oh, I see. Okay, here we go. Right, I'm just getting the hang of it, don't worry. How does silver work? Someone was saying, I don't remember it looking this bad. Uh, you know, my stream is not like the highest quality. It could, it could look better. It looks a little better probably for me than it does for you. Unless you just mean his overall like shape. Oh right, okay, here we go, there we go. I got, there it is. There's some damage on the scoreboard. That's right, okay. It's happening, guys. It's slowly happening. So how's your guys' night going? <laughs> this, is gonna, this is gonna be a while. I, I'm just like holding it with like reckless abandon. I need to like actually aim better. Um, Megahertz Jr. asks, what's my opinion on CP Dust Bowl? I don't know why you'd ask that, but uh, wait, well, I, need, I need to switch hedgehogs before I die. That's the one thing I need to keep my eyes on. But uh, yeah. I, I, I like I like Dust Bowl. I don't think I can do anything as anyone besides Silver, right? I have to break through his armor. Fuck. Well, can I just immediately switch back to him? How do, how does the how does the uh, ring gathering work in this? I, I kind of know how it works in uh, SA2. Um, Dust Bowl is like a bad map from a... If, like, it is technically a bad map, okay? Like, it's really... I'm just gonna fuck around this mode while I talk for a second and also... Maybe... I don't, I don't even know if I need to do this to give Silver rings, but if I do... Then I'm gonna do it. Um, I just have spent so many hours on Dust Bowl that, like, you know, I have the same relationship with Turbine. Where, like, yes, it's a bad map. If you try, if when they put it in the competitive pool, that was insane. Like, why would you ever do that? That's so stupid. But um, I still like the map. I just have fun. Like on on Turbine, I just have fun. It's a it's a meat grinder with these little hallways. But sometimes that's just what I want. Okay. And in Turbine, it's, it's, I just play it like a deathmatch, okay? I know, I know. Sometimes I want to play a map with the objective, sometimes I just want to kill people and get a big kill streak. Okay, this is obviously, it's literally doing nothing. Um, and, uh, yeah. I, I, I think I, I might have more complex thoughts if I wasn't also. Oh, here we go. God, see, I was like one freaking throw away from. Great. Uh, but yeah, the thing about. The reason I enjoy Dust Bowl is because I just. I only play Engineer on it mostly now, because. Such an overpowered class on that map in particular. 
I love I love engineer. It's such an anti fun class, but sometimes that's just what I want to do. And and you can't you really can't overemphasize how good a teleporter is. Okay, I gotta get off TF2 before everyone who's just here for Sonic is like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? <clears throat> oh, people talking about payload race. Um, yeah, payload race is kind of a meme meme mode. And yeah, I love Hightower too, but as Team Deathmatch, exactly. Like, don't who plays the fucking objective on a okay. This this part is Shadow, right? I gotta hit him with the things. Yeah. Um. Okay, there we go. Okay, see, I'm doing it. I'm just had to make sure I'm still doing progress. I don't want. I don't want to be like stuck on this boss for like half an hour because I'm just like spamming attacks that do nothing. But um, yeah. I can't- I can fucking gun to my head, I can't think of another payload race map. There was that first one that's like at night time. It's not nightfall, that's like a different map. What am I thinking of? I can't remember, but whatever. The, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, there's that first one. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, his arms are off now. It's Sonic? Oh, it's, it looks like I'm still doing damage to Shadow, right? Is that nightfall? Okay, maybe I was right. I was like, I thought that had a different name. Uh, yeah. Sorry to my Sonic heads who are like, Dude, I love Sonic 06. This boss is so hype. He is kind of cool, like, conceptually. Like, it's cool. Like, like the idea of this, like an anime music video of, like, all these super hogs fighting this freaking guy. It's kind of cool. Yeah, Rush, I agree. Not that I'm, like, super invested in it or whatever, but I don't know. I played Overwatch for a little while. I don't know. I'm not even gonna. I don't even want to like shit on it too hard. But it just could. It never. Maybe it just. I, it just never captured the same magic as I had with TF2. But that might be a me thing. But I've heard. I've heard similar opinions from other people. I don't. I don't have time to get into a whole Overwatch hate rant. But like, just little things like. Oh god. Okay. See, I gotta be paying more attention to this phase of the fight. I gotta, I gotta get rings. I gotta get some freaking rings over here. It is kind of epic of a fight, okay? I'll give you I'll give you I'll give you some credit. It's not the least epic thing that's ever happened in a Sonic game. And uh I know that there's two phases at least, right? There's two. I think there's just two. And uh they they didn't they didn't do it backwards. Like uh SA1 with the they do the theme music at, for the final fight. Like that's so obvious. How could you even make that mistake? Like how did that even happen? What the f what is going on? Okay, so this is like I, I I honestly never even realized how much like it was like you have to do the first third, the silver, then you gotta do the next part is shadow, and then you gotta do the next part is Sonic. Good luck, Sonic. Um, you know, okay, I personally agree. I personally think uh, the end of SA two is more epicer than this, just because. But I think I don't know. Do I actually feel that way, or do I actually because I just like that game more, and so it's kind of coloring my perception. Okay, so. He will, ooh, okay, I did hit him that time. It's all you, Shadow. Yeah, time eater. I don't, I don't know what happened, dude. I love generations. But what the fuck was going on with that boss, right? Yeah, okay, so fighting in space with, like, not the, okay, so, like, the, the whole context of the, with the, the, the space station's about to crash into the planet, that's kind of cooler, right, than, uh, just fighting in an empty void. I mean, I guess the stakes are technically higher here, because it's, like, all realities or whatever. But, uh, I don't know, just everything about, like, there's not even a first, okay, I was gonna say, there's not even a first phase for them to not have the right music for, for the final hazard but there is sort of it's just the bio lizard but the music in that is dope it's just you know okay I gotta I gotta I gotta focus here I gotta I gotta really focus oh charge Sonic I didn't even realize yeah all the characters so far have had like a charge mechanic there we go there we go my, my, that was my mistake. I knew I was doing something wrong. Cause I was like, 
I don't know, because I just instinctively want it to be like the uh, the biohazard fight, where I'm just, the final hazard fight, excuse me, where I get to just be like, ooh, there we go. Where I have to like slowly get it close, slowly get close. I, I kind of like that fight, honestly. Is that like a maligned fight? I think people like that fight, right? The, the end of SA2. It's silly, it's goofy. I know a lot of people shit on the end of that game because of how silly the whole Gerald Robotnik shit is which you know it's funny because like you know i played it when i was so young i didn't fully it didn't register for me how silly it was okay we're done with phase one that could have been done five minutes ago yeah hit solaris in the balls <laughs> exactly i feel yeah generations is just like a good game i would honestly like I, i'm in a little bit of a pickle because it's like that game is f like for sonic fans such a loving like it, you know but at the same time it's also like one of the best 3D Sonic games. So I guess it's not even that bad to recommend to people. It's like, here's like a mixtape. It does sort of have the nothing story, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, Katamari asked if we... Uh, did, did you guys enjoy the classic sections and generations? Here's the thing. At the time, I absolutely did. You know what? They're still, like, playable. There's nothing, like... They're not bad or whatever. But, you know, in a po post-Mania world, you know, I would rather play Mania than the classic sections. You know what I mean? Oof. I'm not sure if this is like a. You have to do his shit in a certain way. <laughs> the, holy shit! The, all the like the things hitting Shadow like the millisecond. Like I didn't have control of him when I first got control. Like when I first switched to him, so that was like holy shit. Could not avoid that. There's nothing I could do. But it's fine. Okay, I don't want to get. I don't want to let the health get too low. Yeah, so his world is a pretty freaking dope. Jesus, I can't. I, I, come on, just, just stop being so, you know, hitting me the second I switch characters. It's, it's not very chill, Solaris. I gotta say. Hmm. Okay, I am slowly doing damage here. I'm doing too good, like, dodging his attacks. I need to just let them sort of come at me. Okay, so no, okay, my problem is that I'm, I'm returning my volleys, and they're hitting the... Here, they're hitting... Here, let me rotate over, and then switch. Maybe maybe that'll alleviate this problem. Oh, so it sort of did. Sort of did. Okay, maybe I just... Okay, maybe it is on me. Maybe I just need to be holding the shit out of that, uh... Button. The mash... Or I need to be mashing, rather. Not holding. I need to be mashing left or right as soon as this part starts what's up geek of love uh, what do I think of silver as a character I actually like silver I think he's kind of cool it's like you know we got sh we got okay I, I, I okay I think I was clowning on him a little bit because I was just making fun of him for being trunks but I, I still like him I like the whole naive naive but hopeful he's an optimist but he's a realist or whatever right um, So even though it doesn't really make sense that he's in, like, forces, I was happy that he was in the game. Like, I, I, I like him, you know? I like him. And I'm surprised, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been surprised if they just dumpstered him and you never saw him again after this. Because, you know, Sega's embarrassed of this game, you know? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to say, like, I know that much, but they never, they're not, they're, they don't treat this game that well, right? So, it wouldn't have been that surprising if we just never saw Silver again, but that ain't what happened. We did see him again. Don't worry, Smool one. New videos, making lots of progress. Lots of progress. But I gotta finish this, this is hanging over my head, this fucking Sonic 06. Yeah, that, I, I, I really don't understand why, why, who even could have the mental capacity, like why would you include uh, Silver, but not Blaze? It doesn't make any sense. Like, e both of them are equally, like... Ooh, I, do, I love his crazy laser attack. It's kind of, like... It's kind of blinding, but, uh... It's, like, sort of a, like, nice little desperation attack. Okay, can I, can I avoid getting hit by these meteors? I can. Okay, 
Okay. It would be really it would be really funny if I died, right? Like she's like, I believe in you, and they just oh it's dead. Oh god, switch. Save me, Shadow. You're the coolest hedgehog anyways, you you can be the one that finishes the fight. Oop, there it is. That was funny the way it like I got like one last little freeze frame of like all the lasers unrendered and shadow just sitting there. <laughs> we did it, guys. You know, okay, that 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 sort of makes sense, Geek of Love. Silver was in forces to help save the future. It's kind of bullshit. Anytime anything bad happens, what are they just call Silver up? Just let him stay in the future. God. We did it. That's right, Whalen PK. We did it. Especially everyone in chat, they really did it by putting up with my bullshit. <laughs> I definitely got a D. Give me, give me that D rank. That what? Incredible. That was not an S rank fight. That was horrible. I spent like five minutes doing zero damage. <laughs> what the hell? That's uh, okay. Epic gamer moment. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I deserve it. <laughs> I did it. I actually beat this game. A yeah, true speedrunner. It only took me like th what, three months to beat the game. <laughs> oh yeah, now I have to do it 100%, right? I have to get all the silver medals to do all the missions. Look at all these things I unlocked. And the last little fancy CGI cutscene. What's this fucking Halo music? What do you get for 100%ing this game? Uh, nothing. Oh, Mycophobia, thank you very much for the $5. GG. You know what? It was a GG. I'll, I'm gonna fuck. Don't worry. The stream is not over, especially if you're just like tuning in. I'm gonna go fuck around on the, uh, missions or whatever. BJ Arkebo asks, uh, Unleash next. You know, I need to get a damn new Xbox so I can properly... That would be kind of cool to go through Unleashed 60 FPS. I am grateful they did that, especially if we're never gonna get a fucking PC port, right? Dude, I almost forgot about this cutscene. This is kind of weird. That is the true song. Kingdom Hearts is light! Oh God, I'm sorry for that one. Another flashback. Look at me. Yeah, the videos I've seen of uh, Unleashed 60 FPS have been fucking awesome. Like, it, it's such a good looking game for coming out. Can you believe that? Like, Unleashed has issues, okay? I can bitch about the Werehog all day, but the fact that that was the game after this, and it laid the boost found foundation that up until fucking front until the day Frontiers comes out, we're still in a fucking boost era as far as I'm concerned. That's super weird to think that if Frontiers does well, which I'm not counting on, by the way, but if it does, or even if it doesn't, honestly, really, it's sort of a new era of non-boost gameplay for Sonic. It would be funny if it tanked, like, so hard that the next game was just, like, Forces 2. It's just another boost game. <laughs> yeah, you know, it would be cool to see a Unleashed port on PC. Like, the, 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 the project, the Unleashed project, or fuck, whatever it's called. I think it might be called that, where you can do the uh, Unleashed levels ported to generations like that's really cool like that whoever did the, the team or whoever did that did a great job but uh it's not quite the same you know it's not quite the same it's really close but it's not quite the same i don't i still don't fully understand the lore of this like what does that mean where even, when and where is this? This is back in time, right? This is, is this right after that cutscene with the, or is it, I guess it has to be, right? It has to be right after that cutscene with the young Elise. Oh, you know what, Mycophobia? They ask, guys, uh, Lost World good, it looks kind of cool. I, you know, 
I've only, I haven't actually fully played through it. I've only fucked around. I, I didn't really like what I liked, but it was because it was so different, but, and I've heard nothing but bad things about the game, honestly, but I, I'm interested in giving it a fair go. And thank you very much, Ethan. Um, yeah, I would, I'm, I'm happily, I'm still like, have so much notes on the Sega Saturn. I gotta do a good Saturn video. I had like a whole separate thing for Sagata Sanchiro that I still want to do. I put that on hold for a while because they were like doing the new shorts or whatever with his son or whatever. But, uh, oh yeah. I almost forgot that like Just Smile was like a motif, right? A recurring thing. Yeah. I, I, I should play Lost World on stream. If I play Lost World on stream, if I play Lost World, it will be on stream, I should say. is what I'm trying to say. And I probably will do that eventually. I promise I would. If I play through this fucking game, I think I can handle Lost World, right? Hey, don't worry yet, Nocturne. Uh, I did- you did catch me at the end of the game, but the stream's not quite over yet. Look at this Final Fantasy-ass game. What the fuck? This cutscene. This fucking dancer. Someone had to choreograph that and put it in the game. Lost World is an okay game, but a bad Sonic game. Yeah, you know, something about the fact that it was a Sonic game with a run button. That just rubbed me the wrong way. Even though now, that I've had some distance and time, like, that's not necessarily bad. Like, Sonic doesn't always need to be running when you max speed. Because, I mean, practically I have a run button in the boost games. It's called the boost button. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, it's so clearly trying to be, like, so inspired by Mario Galaxy. It's, it's embarrassing how, it's like, shameless it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Rurse. Make all the Meg Griffin jokes you want. Someone was calling me. I'm sure it's just the wind. That dude. That's a reference to Night of the Wind. No, it's just, it's just a, it's just a thing. Sonic's always sort of been wind, wind-like. That's why it's like, come on. Sonic is like he's like a wind elemental. It's not a, it's not like a lightning. It's not a thunder elemental. Like not lightning powers. Like the stupid Sonic movie. Look at this chicken feather. Yeah, that's a good point, Waylon. Uh, what the fuck are they celebrating? Uh, Solaria doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it's just a different festival or, or something. I don't know. Why did that take so long to fade out? That was just like an unnaturally long amount of time to, to fade out. I don't know why. I never, I never noticed that before, but whatever. Uh, Super64X asks, have I seen Spider-Man No Way Home yet? You know, I haven't. It looks good. I heard nothing but good things about it. Like, literally nothing but good things. Um, I'm not, like, the biggest Spider-Man or... I, I like Spider-Man, you know, first of all. Let me just say that. I'm so people don't get the wrong idea before this. I loved, uh, Into the Spider-Verse or whatever. Or, uh, you know, the Miles Morales one. That was great. The cool animated one. But I... I, I haven't seen the Spider-Man movie since uh, Spider-Man 3. I didn't watch any of the, ama the amazing series with Garfield, and I haven't watched any of the Tom Holland movies. I don't know. I sort of, I don't, I'm not even trying to be one of those Marvel haters. I just sort of checked out of the MCU a while ago. He seems good. They seem like I've heard that they're good. They seem good. And you know what? I, I want to watch a new one, and I have to watch it because it has, I know, I mean, spoilers, everyone knows. It has the old Spider-Man. But, uh, so, I, so yeah, you know, I have to watch it as a fan of the Raimi movies, even though I know it's not another Raimi movie, but damn it, I never thought I'd get to see the Green gob Gobbler again. <laughs> the Green Gobbler! And, uh, God, yeah, Spider-Man 1 and 2 are such good movies, and 3 is still fun. It's bad or whatever, but it's fun. It's, it's so good. When you know when he eats the pie, and he's like, it's so good. I love that fucking, I love that fucking scene, man. You know, Waylon, that's an interesting question. Uh, he's basically asking about the, the, the design of Sonic and Frontiers. He's basically just standard game Sonic. He's asking maybe they should have like phased out the mono eye and made, made it more movie-like. You could give him blue arms. Um, so I kind of just like the current Sonic design. I, I wouldn't like have a you know a certain someone style meltdown about blue arms, but I uh, yeah, like I the movie design I think is perfect for the movie. Like it would look so bad if they tried to just translate the current exact modern Sonic design to the movie, but like with hyper detailed quills, you know, like you can like zoom in. It would look so weird. 
Like, it really would. Like, they did it, they did, the movie design is good for what it is. I wouldn't necessarily want to see it in the games, especially because if it was in the games to me, it would just feel like, oh, the movie is popular, so we gotta put it in the games, we gotta, we gotta do it because it's popular. Like, it wouldn't feel like a, like, a natural evolution of his design, you know, even though it kind of is. It would be kind of, I, I don't know, I'm sort of neutral about that. I guess I could go either way. True, and also, yeah, someone points out, Zenium 24 points out, the game development began way before even the movie. Yeah, because theoretically, I mean, who knows? I mean, they could have changed it, obviously, I guess. But, I don't know. Jukebox, jukebox in that, or Zin, or sorry, however you want to say that, is, uh, well, that's why I'm ever going to post anything on my York 008 channel again. Uh, probably not, because that, you know... I love- I was actually just watching my, uh, that- the fetch video the other day, like, literally, like, yesterday, or, uh, two days ago, I can't remember, but, um, you know, that dog unfortunately passed away, I mean, I don't even- I need to be coy about it, the, the video was 13 years ago, like, that video is longer than the lifespan, average lifespan of a Labrador Retriever, and he was not one day old when I started that series, but, uh, I still love those videos a lot. I wouldn't upload anything there just because it would feel weird, it wouldn't be right to do any- like, I, I'm happy it's like a time capsule, you know? Yeah, that's an interesting thing, Sam Squanch. Movie Sonic looks physically younger. He sounds younger, too. Like, I, I'm not even a Roger hater, but you have to admit, he just sounds way older than, like, 16 or whatever the canon age for Sonic is. 15, I think. Like, I don't know. I don't even necessarily think that's bad. I'm not saying Sonic has to sound 15, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it's a different take on the character, right? Ben just sounds younger. Which, again, that fits perfectly with the personality of Sonic in the movie, too. He has a more innocent, whatever you want to call it. Bring back Jaleel says I will scoop. Uh, he did the voice in that fan film, the one with Nostalgia Critic and AVGN, right? Yeah, Sonic is, uh, thought Sonic was 40. No, he's 30, actually. He turned 30 this year. <laughs> oh, it's nice. I can actually read the chat now, unlike when I was desperately trying. Like, I wasn't even just not reading this. I was, I was simultaneously not playing the game well, so I could not even really read the chat and get like one message out for like five minutes. <laughs> it, was, it was great. I completely forgot about this cheesy ass song. Just, just play his world on fucking loop, okay? Shut the fuck up. This better not be fucking copyrighted like that fucking Akon mix. <laughs> Vito Amiibo asks, am I still holding a tomato? No. No, that was just a one-time thing, unfortunately. Or I guess it was a four-time thing. It's gonna be four streams to beat Earthbound. I'm just kidding, guys. Just relax. You don't have to defend the song's honor. I was just joking around. Yeah, I don't know. Pizza does things. I, 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 I'm, I'm just so, like... Cautious. I don't. I don't even want to say cautiously optimistic. Cause I'm not even optimistic. I'm just cautious about the whole open world Sonic thing. Like, open worlds are so done to death. But you know, could still be good. Could still be fun. Like the idea of oh, Sonic speed in an open world could be good, unless they just end up making the open world even way too big, bigger, or on top of that, in order to pad it out. You know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, guys. Don't worry. This time next year will have played the game and I'll have made my I can't believe how much Sonic Frontier sucks video. I never even made that for Forces. I like, like I was going to and then I was like, ugh, I don't want to. I don't want to make a video in Forces. I'd have to like play. I mean, I played I played a lot of Forces, okay? I like really played the shit out of that game to like really like I wanted maybe it gets good if you like, you know, you played a lot of hours like, like I didn't really think that, but like, you know, I really wanted to do all the shitty content and really, like, get my money's worth. I don't even get my money's worth, but, like, I felt obligated as the Sonic guy to really play the shit out of that game, and that made me not like it. Like, I didn't even, like, I didn't like it when I first played through it because it was so short and insubstantial, but then even, even then. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I don't even understand how Forces was so whatever, because they, they know how to make a good boost game, for God's sake. Like, Generations was good, good. Like, it was a good game. It was a fun game. Uh, huge lag says, I just want to be play able to play as someone other than Sonic. Honestly, I, unfortunately, that's, I guess I'll say that is almost a positive 
enforces category, which is you got to play as a non-Sonic character. You got to play as Shadow in a free DLC where it was just a palette swap or whatever, but that's fine. I mean, that's basically what he was in SA2. And you got to play as your own creative character and create a character, I guess I should say. Um, th there will there will be no other playable characters. It's going to be take them so long just to figure out Sonic's movement in an open world. They're not... Like, it would be kind of cool to, like, you know... A Knuckles seems like he would be a good character. He can glide, right? He would be good in an open world, right? Someone mod Knuckles into Breath of the Wild. That's just my guess, okay? I would love to be wrong. We already know Amy's a fucking ghost, so she's off the table, right? Dope song. Dope song. Really good song. I've said it a billion times. Everyone said it a billion times. Game has a good soundtrack, okay? Yeah, that's one thing I loved about uh, just Mania Katamari, which is that you got Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Just you have to play, just playing as those three again. I remember that was such a big deal in the trailer. Like, we got Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. And I'm happy to have Mighty and Ray, too, but they're just, like, bonus on the top. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not trying to... I don't, I don't want to be a total doomer about in the Sonic franchise. It's like, don't you guys get excited about Frontier? Don't do it. Like, I'm, that's not what I want. I'm not trying to be like that, you know? I'm just saying, have reasonable expectations. Okay, so we got Act Trials and Town Trials. Okay, so this is just like... It's just the mission. Okay, fine. Extra. Yeah, let's do, let's do Silver. Let's, let's, let's just fight Silver as Sonic. That could be fun, right? Everybody likes that. <laughs> Whale and PK asked, opinions on FNAF security breach. Uh, sorry, I'm not really a FNAF head. Everything I know about it comes from that one LS Mark video. But I've seen some funny-ish memes of it on the timeline. It's kind of cool, from my perspective, as someone who doesn't give a shit about it at all, that they moved from, like, you know, basically, like, fucking glorified Flash games into a real game. I know, like, Scott didn't make it or whatever, obviously, but, you know. Ooh, look at this guy. Such an interesting fight. Like, it's a bad fight. Like, if you just try and attack him, I'm gonna get hit. See? It's so weird. Oh, dude, he hit me and didn't attack at the same time. Why does he take so long to, like, spit you out? Why did it have to take so long? And it's, like, you can just get stun locked and, like, die. See, like, I'm, like, dead. Like, there's, like, nothing I'm gonna be able to do here. See, I, I was, I was stun locked. And for that guy, I could have killed him. I'm intentionally showing off. Okay, it was intentional death. This is the thing we used to do in Let's Plays, okay? We did intentional deaths in order to make it a more realistic experience, okay? Just a record, I've beaten him before. I just want to see what it looks like when he just throws all these chairs at Sonic. It looks so funny. What do you, what do you mean, take this? You missed. You missed. Okay, fine. He's, now he's just running at me. He's cheating. <laughs> kind of a weird question. History major 25. Have I ever seen Breaking Bad? Uh, yeah. I think most people, I mean, I don't know, most people, not most people have ever lived, but most people, a lot of people saw Breaking Bad. Okay, it was a popular show, that's all I'm trying to say. And yes, I saw it. It was a good show. I like this show. And I really like uh, Saul. I'm really excited for the last season of Better Call Saul. Dude, I was so nervous when they had that news. Dude, that's so funny that Silver can pick up the rings and it makes the ring picking up sound effect. Um, but what I was trying to say was I was so nervous when Bob Odenkirk had a heart attack. Like, obviously, my main concern is I just, I like the guy and I want him to be healthy and not, and not be dead. But oh my god, can you even imagine how horrible that would have been if he just dies right before the last season and just have that horrible, unfinished... Oh, that would be so shitty. Dude, I, I'm not over... Not only am I not over Miura dying, I'm never gonna get over that. I get, like, sad every time I think about Berserk. And, I, and I, it's on my shelf, so I see it every day. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Such a good... Uh, at least, at least, you know... Berserk. At least, like, at least, Better Call Saul had... It, it's on the final season. It's confirmed to be the last season. We know it's the last season. Like, it's the, the end was in sight. Berserk was like, that was just going to meander on for another decade or so. And, it, and you know, if all the places to end, it, imagine if it just ended one year earlier in the middle of the nightmare Costco dream sequence. That would have been even more unsatisfying. I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about this. It's going to make me upset. I don't even know what I'm doing in this fight. I was, I was just running around from Silver because I wanted to show him off and then I just wanted to talk so I was trying to not die. Now I got to kill him. I got to kill him. Now I got to do it. Now I got to, he, he's besmirched my honor. Oof, God damn it! Okay. Yeah, Pizza, Better Call Saul's gonna end up with, what, 63 total episodes? And, uh, and Breaking Bad had 62, but Breaking Bad also had the movie. Which was very weird and unnecessary, but not bad. I didn't hate it. Some people, like, hated it. I didn't hate it. 
Oh my god. Oh, he's sending me straight up. He's sending me into the stratosphere. Ooh. I don't know how to do it sometimes. Yeah, like if you get thrown straight up, you're basically stun lock killed. <laughs> You've seen the videos, right? You've all seen that video. The video. The guy getting sent off in like the stratosphere. Just Google like Sonic. Silver sent Sonic into space. I love that fucking video. It's so funny. Yeah, people go on about how the movie was unnecessary. Like, I think I just, I think I just said that. But you know what? Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say it was 100% was like 100% necessary. But you know, it gave some nice resolution to Jesse's character arc. And you know, he really did not get much attention in the last couple episodes. It was all about Walt, you know, and rightfully so. I understand that was sort of the whole point of the show, right? So, I don't know. It was kind of nice. I liked it. I didn't. I didn't feel bad about watching it. Like. I didn't even hate the Sopranos movie, but I, that one was unnecessary to the point where I watched it and I was just like, what the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> like, David Chase should have just made a different, like that had no need to be in the Sopranos universe. It was so weird. Oh my God. I'm doing the thing again where I'm trying to half read chat and half play the game and it's resulting in me not doing a good job at either one. I'm gonna game over. I promised to game over, damn it. I'm gonna do it at silver. Yeah, uh, the the Sopranos prequel movie was so different. I mean, it took place so far in the past that it was just like, you know, incidental practically. Like it didn't need to be. Apart from the parts that were like, look, I'm I love Sopranos, but even the the fan service in that movie was like gratuitous even for me. I was like, Jesus Christ, guys, do they really need to have this in here? I'm throwing for content exactly. Look how- did you see how slow that was? Wait, maybe I can get stunlocked and where I can pick up my ring. No. Oh! Oh, am I really- am I, this is an actual- oh, no, no, I'm not. He's pushing me. I, I haven't been able to move for over, like, 30 seconds. Okay, it's about to- I'm about to get freed. No, I'm not about to get freed. I really did! I softlocked the game! This is gonna end eventually. This isn't a permanent softlock because eventually I'm gonna get to the end of the- this is, Well, it's a great moment to talk to chat. Funny silver moments. This is really, this is a pretty funny moment. Oh my god, I took it, I took it, okay, Silver? I took it! That was a... No! Okay, alright. This is for all the marbles. Oh, I know it's not, I'm, I already got, I already got hit. <laughs> Cooking with Cyber Shield 2 when, you know, over the years I had so many like dumb time ideas where I was like, oh, I should do Cooking with Cyber Shield 2 about this. Oh my god. All you do is you accidentally homing attack him twice and you've already lost the fight. Okay, see, I was at a slight angle that time, so I had a chance of escaping. Oh god, no, the table. Not the table. That table almost was the reason I lost. Okay, he's gonna push me far back. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. You have to not- if you even dare tap homing attack twice, it's over. If you know what to do, this fight is so easy. You just run in, homing attack, run away, wait until you hear the audio cue. It wasn't like I was truly struggling. I was just- I didn't have the concentration to focus for like five seconds to do the fucking fight. Oh, he got me. Okay, see, I just I just wanted to prove that I could do it, okay? All the deaths were funny on purpose deaths. I was I was throwing for content. It was just throwing for content. Is my PS3 hacked? Uh no. It should be though. You should hack your old I mean, not like it's not like you have a moral imperative to hack your old consoles, but you can get all sorts of cool emulators and shit on these fucking things. You can play all sorts of cool shit. I'm curious about that, Sam Squanch. I have no idea what Origins is going to be like. I'm going to hold off on speculating about what, what it's going to be like. Because we haven't even heard any damn Origins news. You know, and we're not going to until next year, obviously. Because, I mean, this year is basically over. Uh, what are the, where are the rest of these? What, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, the Town Trials. That's what I'm here for. The Winder of a Shoemaker. Again... This is the first mission in the game, and it's unskippable. And I think that's a typo. I think someone chat was like, it should be the wonder of a shoemaker. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. 
Find Pele, the beloved. You guys remember Pele? Let's do the Pele mission again. Let's have a throwback to everyone's favorite moments of the stream. Everybody loved that silver fight. Everybody loves Pele. Oh, that would be really cool, uh, Zanim24. Drop Dash, uh, they say. Origins needs Drop Dash. I, uh, I love Drop Dash so much. I understand it's sort of, you know, when you add a feature like that, inherently you're changing the game. You're making it a different game. Different difficulty. But it's such a fun feature, right? No arcade. I'm not doing the math challenge again. I'm not. Those are the ones you're not going to be able to convince me to do. Oh, yeah, I saw that. A Pepsi addict. I don't want to throw too much shade on whoever necessarily edited that. I don't. Th I don't think. I don't think it was Ian Flynn's job to like do the formatting for every damn page or whatever. So I don't think it's him. But like, there's a a part in the Sonic Encyclopedia where they like are clearly using uh, screenshots from Project 06, right? Or is it a? Uh, it's some other fucking thing. Yeah, it's an 06 mod. For Seagate and Heroes, that was it. It wasn't in the 06 section, it was in the uh, Heroes section, that was it. Right? The Heroes section, okay. And then, what, what was this mission again? You have to find the dog. Where's the dog? Well, I guess that's the point of this mission. We gotta look for him. Yeah, I, I totally agree, Suzanne. Uh, the, the comedy music, like, it really doesn't feel like this should be in... There's, like, there's some serious, like, stock-ass music in this game, okay? So, he, he like, pointed in this direction or he pointed in one of these directions isn't the dog on the roof I thought that was a different mission oh wait this mission doesn't even have a timer on it I thought it was like the uh, the Soliana boys mission Uh, you know, I thought about doing that, uh, making a video on the Encyclopedia, but really, the only thing I really wanted to talk about was the, uh, cucky bullshit, and you know, I don't really know if I can make a whole video on that, plus, Game Apologist already made a good video about that. Cucky. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. His name ain't Cucky no more. It's Clucky. I mean, surely you saw the tweets about that. I guess I guess I always assume everyone just has seen all my tweets, but if you haven't, if you haven't, I've got bad news about Cucky. He's been renamed Clucky. <laughs> okay, you know, that's a pretty good point, honestly. Waylon PK says, I, I made a whole video about one rare sprite in Sonic 2. But that was important, goddammit. Like, I didn't even think twice about that. Oh, he was over here the whole time. So how does this mission work? Like, is he just... He'll follow me now? Is it, like... If I got it within his radius, can I can I lose the dog? Can I outrun the dog? Let's see if I can lose the dog. Are you gonna follow me all the way over here? You can. You have to stay within the radius of the dog. You have to slowly walk the dog back over. Or maybe he just isn't gonna follow me in that direction because it's the wrong direction. Shoot the dog. Uh, I'm not playing a shadow, so I can't pull out my gun. Dog is invincible. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If only I could just, like, imagine if this game was good and this was just, like, the town. You know, it was just the regular hub. It wasn't like I had to load into a separate find the dog mission. It was just part of the hub. And I could just go explore the hub and talk to other NPCs and I could just have the dog following me. But I can't do that because this is a special mission version of the stage, you know? This music really is fucking weird. <laughs> is the dog? Did I even? Did I even bring it over here? I, I, I wasn't even trying. Okay, I, 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 he got he got left. He got left. What, he didn't just get left. He's like running all the way back. What are you doing, you fucking dog? You're literally going in the exact wrong direction. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. Okay, he's a pretty good dog. Just come on. 
I, I want to get the I want to get the darn D rank. I deserve this D rank. Yeah, yeah. Suzanne asking why is the town so deserted? Because yeah, exactly. Because when you have to load in these shitty story missions. Does the mission just end? No, I actually have to talk to him again. That was a weird sound. <laughs> yeah, give me give me that D for dog rank. Oh yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, Waylon mentions that uh, just a couple days ago, the uh, Sonic Twitter. Man, today's not my day. <laughs> the Sonic Twitter responded to my silly little tweet about. It was a weird one to pick to respond to, too. The uh, the one I was just making a joke about that cyberpunk interview where he's like, oh, well, there's not going to be police chases in the new Sonic game and Elden Ring. And I was just like, uh, excuse me, how do you know that? Because he can't, how does he know that? Has he played the new Sonic game? I don't think so. <laughs> That's right, Nocturne number one. It's a liminal space town. <laughs> Honestly, that's why they have such goofy music, because without that, it would be creepy. It would be spooky. And yeah, as a million people dogpile the point on, there are literally police chases in, like, multiple Sonic games. Like, there's sort of the police chase down the side of the building in a, a classic moment in Speed Highway. Plus, of course, there's lots of running away from the police in SA2 or at the beginning of the game, in the middle of the game. There's plenty of it. I'm not doing Soliana Boys. It's fucking, who is the captain mission where you just have to talk to the guy twice? So funny. Okay, I missed a mission. I missed, miss, missed mission six. Here we go. There's like, mul there's multiple race the just dude missions. Mel's, the Soliana running legend, and versus Sonic Man. All right, let's do it. Wait, I, I'm gonna fail. I'm, I'm preemptively saying this so nobody accuses me of, 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 of being bad at the game. I just want you to know I'm throwing for content. I wanna fail the race because I wanna see what happens when Sonic Man wins. I wanna I wanna see. I wanna see what happens. Okay, I just wanna see his mission fail dialogue. I better get it too. It better not just like cut to some bullshit. I don't get to see it because I'm not playing it within the main story. Stop saying I'm bad at the game, okay? I'm I'm this is an intentional failure. Yeah, I wonder what the world record is for who's the captain snowbun side. That'd be pretty fast, I imagine. I don't think any of the missions are, like, permanently missable. Look at the way he's just, like... First of all, he is moving really fast for a person. Like, it, it doesn't even, like, look like it's, like, you know, synced up with his running animation. Like, they had to sort of artificially increase how fast he's. I mean, I don't know. Artificially might not be the best way to describe it. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. He's pretty fast. Compared to Sonic's max speed in this game, he's not even that much slower. I used to just make fun of this guy, because he is really fucking easy to beat. The hardest part of this mission is just knowing which, like, route around the fucking town to take. Where's the end? Where's the end? Wait, is that Pele? No, it's not Pele. You're a different dog. It's a different dog, guys. Don't worry. Ooh, the mission just ends the second he hits the fucking thing. Yeah, the Naruto run, right? See, Sunday. It's so fucking funny. People always say the Naruto run, but I, well, didn't that didn't Sonic have that stupid run first? It's definitely more iconically Naruto's though, for sure. Because I mean, it's an actual person doing it. You're just wearing a costume. I'm the real Sonic. But I love that he has the Sonic One shirt. So good. Yeah, it's not the Naruto run. It's the Sonic Man run. That's absolutely right, Arcade. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it for real. Okay, I'll freaking do it for real. Was it in DBZ before Naruto, Iron Sharp? I'm sure you could find some even older anime, yeah. It's just like, like a cool, like, ninja run. You put the arms behind you. Cause, like, of course that's how you run when you're doing an epic run, okay? Of course. Oh, yeah, he even does it in, like, Sonic CD. That's right. That's right. Normal, boring name. You got me. And I, I love... I, that's a, just one of those minor touches I loved so much in Mania, the way that there's, like, a max speed sprite where he, it sort of takes cues from the, uh... Both the super peel out, the way his arms go back, and also, like, the beta Sonic 2 with his legs. You can see, like, the blue stuff. God, that's... The Sonic Mania is such a good fucking game. All right. Get to the station. It's funny they just say get to the station because it's not actually just get to the station. I have to take a very specific route. Okay? I admit part of it... Isn't too hard to figure out. They got the giant orange arrows. I guess the part I was sort of complaining about was like, you just have to know to turn. 
over here. Okay, I guess it's kind of obvious. You just naturally are going to do that. I want to turn around and look at him and be like, haha, look how slow he was. But I don't have to do the mission again for the third time. I'm not really familiar with that particular Sonic reference, Sam Squanch. You know, I should really consider doing a video that's just like Sonic references in other media and like Sonic sightings, like that classic uh, Sonic in Seinfeld moment. I love that he wants your autograph too. It's such an honor. I want to be just like you. Can I be your apprentice? Yeah. Hey, Sonic said, yeah. He literally said, yeah, you can be my apprentice. And look, there's like the children standing around with the blank look on their face. The guy with the camera. I would love to see Sonic in Fortnite, dude. That was incredible. That was incredible. We're never going to see Sonic in Fortnite. Obviously, we wouldn't see Sonic. We would see Shadow. He's a much better pick because he actually uses guns. I think the reason we'll never see Sonic or Shadow in Fortnite, first of all, I don't think Sega wants that. Even though you should always... Like, they're so insanely gung-ho about crossovers. Maybe they would, but... Um, you need, like, a human body shape. Right? Like, that's the main problem, right? What would it even look like? I can you even imagine a Sonic? It would have to be Sonic Man. They would just have to get Sonic Man in the game, right? These fucking missions are so bad. I'm just gonna... I don't even want to mold about this for a second, but just some of these are, are atrocious. Here, I want to go... Oop, I, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't mean to go that far out. I want to see if I can find the... Uh, what mission? Oh god, one of these might be a math mission. If it's a math mission, I'm bailing. I'm not doing the fucking math mission, alright? Oh, Eggman in Fortnite. Okay, you know, that would be pretty cool. I think Eggman could work, right? Yeah, just put Sonic in Fortnite, but stretch his arms and legs to fit the proportion. Sure, why not? Oh, that's a good one. Ando. Dude, Jim Carrey. Uh... Eggman or Robotnik. He's not even. I guess he is Eggman. Sonic does call him Eggman once, right? Ah, I love this free roaming gameplay where I can just explore this generic ass city to my my heart's content. Are these like government funded springs. Who put those there? Oh god. I just realized some of the missions might not even be in the town. They might be in like the forest. Oh fuck. For some reason, I just assumed they'd all be in the town. I don't think there's this guy with the accordion. I already talked to this guy a million times. He writes a song for Princess Elise. So I guess this song is diegetic. Why is it so long, dude? It's so many boxes of dialogue. It's just like a weirdly, like, high amount of effort for just a random NPC that you don't even have to talk to in this game. When there's so many more things they could have been spending their random effort on. All oh, right, this was actually one of those storylines that sort of like goes across the game. She's like, oh, I'm worried about my son. You know, see, I'm always praising Sonic Adventure 1 for that. Like, oh, it has little storylines that run throughout the game. And it was, it was over here, too. It's over here, too. Are there, are there apples in here? Oh, look at these apples, guys. I'm going to knock these apples into the stratosphere. God, do you remember? And there's a mission I definitely don't want to fucking redo. The goddamn apples mission. So funny to me. It's still funny to me, the speed and magnitude of these kicks. Whoa, I kicked and it kicked me into the spring, which I didn't even realize was there. That startled me. Ooh, look at that. 100% completion is imminent. Yeah, Station Square was better. You're right, Nocturne. It was way more stylized. Just, it just felt more like... It was smaller. It really was. Like, Station Square is really pretty small, all things considered. Like, it turns into an actual explorable area, but it's still so good. Oh my god, I almost forgot about all the stupid fucking, like, weird glitches you can do in this game. Like, remember this? You can shrink. Just one of the Sonic's abilities in this game. You can just shrink down and be one foot tall. Wow, it's, it's, it's absolutely nauseating controlling the game like this. Woo! Yeah, I should go look at the rest of the gems on sale. Hey. Hey. How did no one notice you can just jump infinitely? That's so funny. Such a funny glitch. Wow, you really freak out the camera if you tap R1 when you're like this. Ooh, that was fun.
What a great game, honestly. This game is... It, it, it's, could there be a more fun game to fuck around and break? Alright, what other gems are there? Sonic has a gem that allows you to enable the gun drive custom action. To throw a gem... Oh, and teleport, that's right. What a weird fucking... That's the blue shoes. You know, it's really disappointing that in Smash Bros, like, all the different color Sonics, they're, they should have had way more, like, variants. Like, why couldn't he have these cool purple shoes in Smash Bros, am I right? Like, well, I think he does have purple shoes, but they're not, they're not like this design, all right? He needed, like, soap shoes and all. Okay, obviously, there's plenty more shit in Sonic's Smash representation that could have been better, but in particular, I wish he had slightly better outfits. I guess they're a little bit better in what? Ultimate, right? But whatever, yeah. So, how does this one work? You go into the first person, there's like a charging up sound, and then I throw a thing and I just teleport. That This literally feels like someone programmed this. I have to wait for it to connect. Maybe I threw it into the water. Like, just like a test, like someone did this as a test. Like, how could this be in the final game? This is so weird. Whoa! I was like, okay, I guess that one didn't work either, but it did work. And I'm going to die because of it. Oh, wait. This is such, that's such a weird gem ability. Luckily, deaths in the overworld like that don't matter. All right. Let's see how far I can get this. Is this going to get me across the entire thing? <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, Snow Bun Sai says throw it against a wall, like right up against a wall. I'm sure you can really break the game with this. I'm sure you can like clip through all sorts of shit. It, it is literally an ender pearl, okay? It's a fucking ender pearl. But, 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 but Notch stole it from this game, do you understand? You can throw that so far why does it go so far like I, I like i understand the basic concept of this like you know not really in a sonic game necessarily but you could put it in a game look i can get all the way over here it's like a whole cave back here let's explore this cave Sorry, I know it's like impossible to see with the camera. We can get in and out of the water. And there's like they modeled a whole little cave back here. Why? I, I don't know. I guess it's just meant to be the implied transition to the next stage. All right. It, it's fun to fly around with the purple gem, but this one's also pretty good. They, you, are you trying to tell me they sell this gem in stores? Anyone can buy this? This is incredible. Why didn't I buy the Sky Gem before? Like, if you could get this at like the beginning of the game, you could just skip every stage. This is such a weird item. Oh yeah, I guess you need the sneakers too. They're just for Sonic. What happens if you throw multiple? I, need, I just need to get a good angle on this. Okay, excuse me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, jeez. I, I wasn't trying to land on that one. Okay, fair enough. You can go literally across the entire fucking map. It's just, it's a, this is absurd. This is an absurd power. It's just so funny, the delay, too. Also, you, like, I don't even know if I hit anything. Like, half the time, oh, I guess I just didn't hit anything. Better try again. Here, whoa, oh, I hit the fence or whatever. Not the fence, the lamppost. Okay, let me try my two places experiment. Yeah, I, I assume the new one just cancels out the old one. Oh, 
Oh, you can. I was going to say, there's there's no way this tech would work. I was going to say, throw a gem and then switch shoes. I don't really know what I can do with that. I'm sure you can change some sort of weird shit together. Wait, what, how, how far do you go if you do it? Just tap it. You see the way, it, like, it tried to teleport me by yanking me directly to the place, but there was a roof in the way, so it made me forcibly run off the roof and die. <laughs> okay, there is no way that any of the other gems are even close to being as good as these two. These two are incredible. I'm like actually kind of having fun just messing around with how ridiculously broken this game is. Look how high I got without even having to use the purple gem. That's madness. Utter madness. I was about to run over and buy a new gem. What am I thinking? I don't need to run over. I can just teleport. Teleport. That's, that's a real reference for the old school heads. Wait, can I, can I just throw this at the old man? Whoa. Dude, I'm doing, I'm doing old man tech. I'm doing old man tech. All right, let's see what, let's just see what other shit this game has to you know, offer. I don't, oh, I don't even have enough. I don't even have enough for any of these. Thunder, okay, so this is Thunder Guard. It's like a attack or some kind of defensive move. Homing smash. Enables you to stop midair and do a homing attack, sma attack, homing smash attack. Okay, first of all, I don't want to do that. This doesn't sound like something I'd want to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to interrupt my homing attack with some sort of Shadow the Hedgehog punch attack. Okay, here we go. Allows you to use the mock speed custom action. Enables you to do a supersonic boost. Oh, right, slow. I can't believe I played the whole game without even getting snow. Or slow, excuse me. Um... Let's uh let's get the supersonic dash. So how does this one work? Oh, you just you just tap R1 and all of a sudden Sonic is running at like maximum speed. That is incredibly unwieldy. Another classic move they decided to have Sonic run into walls and get, you know, stunned. Love it. Yeah, it's a boost button. It's literally a boost button. I'm mashing. I hope you can like sort of see how like jerky it is. You know what I mean? Like it's not like I'm smoothly getting gaining speed or whatever. <laughs> well, I, I'm crashing into things, so it wouldn't be smooth either way. Okay, that one's on me. That one's on me, guys. Um, sorry, nothing is gonna be better than this. Like, what the? F how is this a real ability that's in the game? This is somehow, I, I was gonna say it's more broken than the purple gem. It's not quite more broken because you can't just fly, but absolute madness. Oh, you know who else we should check out the stores of? Kind of a weird way of phrasing it, but I'll, I should check out the other hogs characters. I didn't find a single, whoops, submission yet. I just, I've just been fucking around. I mean like a new mission. Let me just do a quick sweep of the town because it should show up on my radar. I'm pretty sure I've talked to all these dorks before. Yeah, see, they're just giving me hints for the last mission, which I already did. I already rang the bell, and they're just gonna give me hints toward this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I have an idea. Damn it. Is there any, like... It's not... It's not... It's based on where Sonic's face... Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I beat the game without having to walk and only teleporting? But I have to walk in order to like turn myself and like, or wait, maybe I don't. I guess if I only go in R1.
I hope the uh I hope these gems are as broken in Project 06 as they are in this game. That's kind of the fun of it, right? Oh, hey, look. A medal. Yeah, what, what was I saying about getting 100%? That'll be happening any day now. Any day now. Holy shit. So high up all the buildings are clipping in and out of existence. I'm sorry. I can't just I can't stop just killing myself with the fucking the blue gem, the light blue gem. It's too funny to me. <laughs> oh, was there another metal on that roof? Off the Yoshironi? Great. I was gonna say, can I at least like see it land in the distance? But uh, I think because of draw distance, yeah, because of the draw distance, I can't. Ooh, but it really is going. Whoa, I, I look at all these metals. There's another one over there. Whoops, that was a mistake. Wait, was someone saying there's another one up on this roof? There can't be another one on this roof, but there's definitely one over on that roof I just swung past. Yeah, doing this with no, not only no crosshairs, guys, but look, I'm trying to aim it in this direction. Uh, are your, your fucking quills are kind of in the way, Sonic. Whatever, I'll just do a blind fire. Who gives a shit? Oh, I almost had it. What the fuck? I was like, there's no way I'm going to get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I almost forgot to even mention this because I mentioned it when we did the purple gem shenanigans. But uh, that's right. See Sunday 95 points out. Oh, is, in the thing about, oh is, is the thing in the bottom right supposed to be an actual gauge? Yes. These abilities are supposed to take up some, like, energy, right? They're supposed to take it, like, you're not supposed to be able to spam teleport as many times as you want and look inside of Sonic's own head. It's supposed to take, like, energy, but they just don't. The gem, the light gem abilities, the chip abilities, whatever you want to call them, they don't take any energy. I don't know why. The Rat Jacket asks, if you've been here the whole, if you've seen every VOD, you're going to love this question. Uh, why are you playing on a PS3? You'd probably get less throw down, slow down on an Xbox 360. Because I thought it would be a funny meme, a funny memer moment to do the worst version on purpose. And you know what? It kind of was funny. Except, did it even really matter? The only thing that happened was I didn't get to see any cute gondolas, and I didn't, and I got probably way more slow down than I should have. I love that moment where you're like, I have no idea if your stupid gem is going to connect or if it's just gone. It's like it fell off the map and nothing's going to happen. Sonic has got to have the most broken abilities, right? There's no way the other two hogs got shit even remotely on this degree. Oh boy, there it is. There it is. I was trying to do it for you guys, and I did it. Look at that creepy void under the map. Hey guys. People said you couldn't go into the fucking buildings in this game. You can just clip right out, too. <laughs> Wayland PK asks, why are Sonic's shoes blue? It's tied to the uh, ability gem you have equipped. You can just rotate through them with the uh, right on the D-pad. It's funny how like it like interrupts his animation. See, like... It, it doesn't fully interrupt it, you know what I mean? Like, he's still doing the stretch, but he sort of like clips around, I don't know. Oh, it's it's from going between his regular shoes and, so if I just go left, right, it'll be even weirder. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that right, Yoroni Chan? Did, did freelance astronauts do a playthrough of this game? I haven't thought about those guys in a while. I hope they're doing good. It kind of looks like Sonic's like nodding. He's like, yep. Okay. I, I, wait, hold on. Let's just say I'm done. I give up. I want to go see. Can I even access? Am I even allowed to go visit the, uh, you know, 
the grass area. I don't even know what to call it. The forest. It's this way, right? Oh, hey, look. Another medal. What was I saying? What was I saying about fucking getting 100%? Also, I'm sorry. I know it looks horrible. Like, it, the camera is so horrible when you're little. Ooh, it just follows, it just follows you your, your around so closely. Like, it's trying to be like the Resident Evil 4 camera. Where it just never leaves your side. Also, it's just so funny to me how, like, the shrinking is, is like, instantaneous. You just tap R1. Boom! You're instantly small. And you let go and your regular size. And the camera really doesn't like it when you spam it because it wants to swing behind you. Okay, I can go this way. I was I was right. I was right. Uh, you know, I really don't want to do that so much, dick butt, dick butt. You ask, when are you streaming the Sonic storybook series? But I got to. I have to do it. Those are two more games. I know everyone thinks I'm the Sonic Master. I played every Sonic game, 100% every Sonic game. Really, I'm familiar with those games, but I've only dabbled with them. I've never actually, like, sat down and beat them. And you know what? Those are ones I can't just easily emulate, you know? Like, I mean, I, I, mean, I can, but if I'm not waggling with an actual Wiimote... Oh, wait, this isn't... This is just the way to the new city. This isn't the way to the fucking forest. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, whatever. Anyways... Oh, this will be even more fun. It's another area to try out my uh, my my new ability on. But yeah, there's a lot of soul and interesting things in those uh, storybook games. There's also a lot of shit and jank. But uh, they're very interesting. The least you can say is they're interesting. Well, I just clipped right. They didn't even bother making the roofs of these buildings solid. It's like, no one's getting up here. It's not like we'll have two, literally two separate gems for sale not glitches or exploits you have to work hard to achieve two gems for sale you can use to fly and get infinite height and get up here well i guess not infinite but you know you might as well be infinite if i can get all the way up here oh this one this one didn't want to let me in excuse me Woo! there we go um suzanne are you definitely going to play the Tales games? I'm definitely going to play the Tales games. I need to do a, like a big Game Gear night one of these days. Black Knight has just some interesting things in it. It's goofy. It's weird. Think about it. They're literally like official Sonic AUs. You know what I mean? Like it's so strange, but it's cool. Like once you get over the conceit of how weird it is that Sonic has a sword... That last cutscene where he transforms into like Super Sonic, but not Super Sonic. Got like the King Arthur armor, or whatever you want to call it, or um, the Excalibur armor. Excuse me. It's cool, okay. I I have to admit it. It's cool. I'm trying to remember. Is there anything interesting in this map? I guess it'd be easier if I could just. Again, ooh, I almost forgot. Hey, this is a more wide open map. Dude, I could get a, such a, you don't even know the level of S rank I could achieve against Sonic Man if I could just boost like this, like, ooh. Again, I'm sorry, I know, I know I keep saying this, but this is one of the things you're not gonna appreciate how awkward it is to control until you have to do it yourself. Cause like, I can't just freely control, like when I'm running fast as regular Sonic, even like this, I, have, I still have a good amount of control. I can do tight turns, not nearly as good controlling as like the adventure games, you know, but I feel like I have some degree, some some modicum of control, but when I'm boosting, it's like, Ugh! I feel exactly like how that guy sounded. Oh yeah, Night of the Wind is a banger. Of course, of course those Sonic games, even if they're not good, they still got the dank fucking music. Fucking luffy guy blocking me over here. All right, Sonic needs to fly off into the sunset. Damn, these, these sails are solid objects you can really bounce off of, huh? Interesting. Yeah, and this, uh, just, just swooping the camera around next to you is already painful enough, but I'm aware that, like, the jerking of not only being behind little baby Sonic, but, uh, I'm just trying to land up here, but he can't land. See, so, yeah, he's like, that's why he's like, he's like being repelled against this, like, in ball form. So I know it's like extra jerky. The camera's extra jerky. I apologize. I was gonna say if this looks like shit, but like, I mean, I know it looks like shit. 
Yeah, someone was saying this earlier. Sorry, I forgot. Usually I try to call out things when I see them, so I don't forget people's names. But someone was saying how, like, they don't even, they never even seen the the weird light blue gem bug shenanigans work. Because even, even the people who play this game and show off how broken it is, even they don't necessarily, you don't have to go this far to find out how broken it is, you know? Like, it would be so hard to show off every, like, single little glitch in this game, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're definitely not supposed to be able to do the weird infinite jump thing. Uh, Egan, BW, don't worry. Yeah, this game is just incalculable, incalculably broken. I was hoping one of these buildings might have like a solid roof, but I guess, I know these are solid. Whoops, I might have overshot that. Whoops. There we go. Guys, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to the, uh, whoops. The, uh, I was gonna say get to the forest area, but maybe if I can, like, oops, uh, never mind. <laughs> maybe I can find the loading zone, even if they don't want me to get there. I can find the loading zone and I can clip into it, but, uh, they definitely don't want you clipping into that. What if I get above this part of the map? It's over here. Whoa, look at that. Look at that tunnel over there. Oh, this is just that part of the map. <laughs> Wait, what is over here? Like, I, okay, I remember this room, but I, there's not like a level warp. This is like the e exit of a level. They put you out over here. Yes, uh, this is post-game content. I did finish the story already. Oof, damn it. it. The camera is making it very difficult to explore out of bounds here. Need some sort of fucking boundary break ass camera to get my bearings. Because, I mean, I don't want to explore it with the purple gem. That's boring. Damn, I was really, like, running up the wall over there. That was crazy. Do it, Sonic. Run up the wall. Run up! Ninja, run up that wall! God, I'm sorry. Epilepsy warning. Okay, great job. Uh, snow one size says, at least the kill plane extends infinitely. I don't know, I, I want to fall under the kill plane, goddammit. Damn it, I really thought I could get it. I'm going to have to back up a little bit. I want to fall into the void infinitely and then, like, hard crash the game. Whoa! Damn, I almost hit, like, I think, like, behind the load trigger. Wait, I don't know if that's possible. Wait, is that possible? Wait, maybe it low trigger probably extends like entirely all the way in there. Let me see. Oh, pff, okay. I thought I was gonna teleport behind the load trigger because I forgot that the somehow I forgot the gem doesn't teleport you. It literally just yanks you. It just yoinks you to the location where you're the thing landed. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be able to teleport past the fucking trigger because I would have to go above like I was trying to do earlier. Oh boy, at least we get to enjoy more of these loading screens. Let me just double check. The, uh... The forest map loading area might be over here. I can't remember. Woo! Actually worked. Hey, I was right. So I can uh, use my abilities over here, not just to explore, but also to see if there's any missions that I forgot. This is another weird like story progression thing where this bridge is broken. And this will be one of the only times I can get some, get some good use out of this boost because the area is wide open enough. Ooh, wow, it's almost like I'm actually fast enough to explore this at a reasonable pace. I'm boosting, I'm a mock speeding. Again, the jitteriness and the way, like, the blue lines are only, like, behind me right as I'm boosting. Also, look, look at this. They're, like, not even behind me. They're, like, to the left of me. It's weird. Can I get, like, a cool aim? 
No, I can't. I was just thinking a cool camera angle on this, but no, the camera doesn't like when you. The camera will not be cooperative when you're trying to boost. This is me trying to go in a circle. Oh yeah, let's explore Blight Town. So I'm not allowed to get over there anymore in regular gameplay. So let's see if I can just throw my way over there. Holy shit, you actually could see it. This, this place is longer draw distances. I guess it's set per area and it would make sense to do a longer over here. Huh. Like, what's over there? Is there just gonna be a big invisible wall? I think there's just gonna be a big invisible wall. There's definitely no way that this is solid. Yeah, there's an invisible wall, great. That means I'm gonna have to try and get around the invisible wall. It's like they knew, they knew this game was broken. Maybe this side, maybe this side. Maybe they didn't think about getting over here. If we have any Sonic experts, Sonic 06 lore experts, let me know if there, if, if any of the other gems are worth buying, because I'm pretty sure, I, I, I knew about the purple one. Everybody knows about that purple one. This is great, it's honestly the gems are basically like they left the debug shit in the game, you know what I mean? Like, here, explore this at your own pace. Oh, they don't want you to stand up here. I tried, to, I tried to stand, but it just had Sonic curled up in ball mode. Red gem is good for S ranks, but that's it. All right, that makes sense. A Pepsi addict. Oh, you can stand up here. Okay, I guess that makes sense. That's not enough. I need to get even higher. Oh, okay, then they don't want you standing up there. <laughs> Thanks for the kind message, Hanma Kaoru. Um, yeah, you know, I, I always like, you know, it, it makes me happy when I hear people are like, yeah, you know, I never even was that into Sonic until I found out your videos, you know, it's like, damn. I never even, I, I never made, I never once made my videos be like, I'm going to get people into Sonic, you know, like, I never, I, that would be cool, but, like, I just assumed my videos would only ever appeal to people who already liked it, but, uh, thanks for, I appreciate the support. Is there just a big invisible ball that's going to extend all the way up here? Yes, extends all the way up here. Damn it. Just let me over the wall. Uh, there's no way I'm getting over that invisible wall. Look how far it goes up. Nice view, sort of. Let me like fall for a second. So I know, God, it's, this is even worse. Than I, was, I was like, it's even more jerky now. Maybe I can like clip through the wall over here somewhere. Hmm, man, they they really were thorough with the uh, invisible walls on this one. I'm not giving up. There's got to be a way to break this fucking map. Okay, but the fucking purple gem is giving me a headache. I'm gonna do more shit with the light blue gem. I like this one more anyways. It's funnier. There's something funnier about the just yoink! Like, whoa! Like, it takes so long to land after a big throw. And sometimes it just doesn't happen. I don't know why. Maybe I landed in the water or something. Yeah, okay, I guess that was in the water. Now it kind of looks, 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 looks like that might have been in the water. Man, you can get such distance, but if I couldn't get above those things with a damn purple gem. I never really explored this area out around the edge of the lake. Like, wow, look at all this stuff. No! Nice water. Great water. Yeah, to my knowledge, you're allowed to use these gems and levels, right? I mean, I kept not doing it, but... 
Whoa, did you guys see that metal? Okay, this is kind of funny. Look, if I'm too close to this lip, you see this like little edge right here? If I press the, the teleport or like the throw button, I'm too close and I just get the fall over animation. Oh, I'm in the boost. Oh, I see. I thought I was on the wrong one. Okay, I was gonna say like, how, why am I, like that one, that interaction should never take place. What's going on here? Shouldn't have bought that other blue one. It's, 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 it's slower than this one. Nothing could be faster than this. Like look how fast I can get across huge swaths of land. Yeah, the music definitely just doesn't have that characteristic sonic feeling. That's kind of true. I would love to just, you know, be able to do this through the mock speed sections and compare times. Oops, I got turned around. Guess I'll go this way. Okay, I got. I gotta get out of here. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna get stuck in a loop with this fucking blue gem. I gotta check out Shadow and Silver before I forget. Cause I know I freaking forgot some of these guys' missions. Head for the desert. So I guess this really is loading me in. Like, go do the final mission. Can I? Like, can I? Am I allowed to enter the stages and do like the mission trials? Cause I thought you weren't allowed to go into previous stages in this game. Like, remember when I was in Sonic and I jumped to where the, the little island where Wave Ocean used to be? And it wasn't there, so I don't think you're allowed to go at any time. Ooh, Shadow gets to have Team Dark falling around in his post game. That's funny. That definitely won't get annoying hearing Omega stomp, 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 stomp for two seconds and Rouge. For some reason, if you saw my Silver stream, Amy was driving me insane i was about to fucking go mental her jump she was like jumping every two seconds i just wanted to like talk and she's like up 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 i was like amy you've got to shut the fuck up or i'm gonna lose it oh man i'm poor i'm poor as shadow i don't have a lot of rings chaos now chaos line. oh they're all just uh they're all just like combat okay that's fair it's still so funny to me, like, you're supposed to, like, jump in the air and go, ah, wah, ah, yeah, or, like, charge it up and go, ah, yeah, but you can just jump in the air and go, ah. Oh, I was going to say, he's just, like, floating for no reason, but, like, you can hear the air shoes making a sound, like, his shoes are making the hover sound, but there's, like, nothing coming out of his shoes, see? All they had to do was put a little tiny fl fire effect on his shoes, like, you know, I've seen them do that in Sonic Adventure 2. And it would look so cool, but instead it looks completely goofy and stupid. Kind of useful that in a stage, at any moment, you can just pause. Like, like Omega is like doing his like idle animation, like he's bored. Ah! All right, let me just do a quick sweep, a quick sweep around the city. Oh, I feel so like slow now that I don't have access to my game-breaking gems. <laughs> okay, the NPC is dying. And going, ah! It's still kind of funny. Okay, it's also funny going up to an NPC as Shadow and going, like, and they're just like, they don't even notice. They're just going about their day. Oh, you can go to the last mission. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, oh. Leave no streetlight undestroyed. God, the, 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 the shadow shoe sound effects are horrible. They're just like, I don't know, like sandpaper. Ah, Rouge, you're a bat. You can fly. Stop dying like that. 
See, like, when you're running, there's, like, a the fire effect coming out of his shoes. It's not really that good looking, but all they had to do was have that be a thing when you're hovering. Damn, you can chain an attack combo into a hover. Good to know. Good to know now that I've completely beaten the game. I'm pretty sure you can go back and watch my entire shadow playthrough. And I use this ability, this one right here, like zero times. Like not one time. Getting all the medals. You guys thought I wasn't going to get the medals. I got the fucking medals. Oh, God. This mission. I almost forgot. You have to protect Lord Regis's daughter. This will be a short-term assignment. Until another agent comes to relieve you. Will you do it? Uh, no. I see. Oh, you're on another mission. Okay, he doesn't even give you a funny dialogue. Fine, I'll do it. This is horrible. This is like multifaceted nightmare mission. I don't really, uh, I don't really care for this one, I gotta say. Lord Regis's daughter, Sabrina. It's kind of funny she even gets a name. So many NPCs in this game just randomly get names for no reason. And some of them that absolutely should have had names just didn't have names for no, some inexplicable reason. Yeah, Shadow's whole cop in this game. He's working for the government. Working for Gun. The fucking, uh, or G-U-N, I should say, is the official canon pronunciation according to this game. Um, even though G-U-N killed Maria, I guess they'll, that, it's not a plot hole because the whole thing that happens at the end of Shadow is he comes like friends with the commander or whatever, you know, that guy with the heterochromia, complete cringe character design. Um... Oh, you're a gun agent. You're an agent from Gun. You don't look very cool. Like, what do you want? He's Shadow the Hedgehog, for God's sake. How much cooler is he supposed to look? Oh well, as a bodyguard, you'll have to do everything I say. Oh, I forgot. I'm Sabrina, the daughter of Lord Regis. He runs Soliana. You see? Wait, I thought Elise ran Soliana. Like, what is, what is even like? So, what is her job? She's just one of those useless royals that doesn't even govern. She's fucking nothing. God. So I'm in a different classroom. Your name? Nah, that's okay. I don't need to know the name of an agent. Oh, right. Go get the key under the bell. Guys, I was so confused by this key under the bell shit. And then I figured it out. But I forgot. I forgot again. I can't remember what this mission is. I, for I forgot again, okay? And this nightmare is timed, right? There's no way this one ain't timed. Because I remember being like, this sucks. Bring the key that's under the bells within the time limit. All right, instinctively, I'm running in this direction. Is the bell, the bell of the ball, I forget which key it's trying to get me to go to. Is it like the one that's all the way over there or the other side of the map? By like the clock tower? It's one of those missions that gives me way more time than I should reasonably have. But yeah, this is honestly a good, like, this is very indicative of what the missions in this game are like, which is extremely bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just very, not any interesting, unique, like, locations or art assets or anything like that. It's just, remember this area? Let's, we really gotta wring every last drop of content we can out of this shit. Okay, it was over here. Great. Ba ching All right, now I gotta go find her again. That won't be too bad. I vaguely remember the area she was in. Oh, but this ain't it. This is not the whole of the mission. If it was this easy, I would have done it before. Trust me. I would have done it before. Okay, that, that was not the right way. I was going, I was technically going in the right way, the right direction, but it was not the right way. And this fucking music, oh my god, just is like, again, it barely feels like this was composed for a Sonic game. I just got a new order of dresses and shoes, I've ordered five, so it's, what? You can't? Who do you think I am? Go, hurry up and go. Yeah, exactly, Snow Bonsai. Like, the real reason I'm chafing so hard against this mission is because, oh, you got, I just got so used to having all these cool gems. I'm just useless shadow again? This sucks. At least if I was silver, I could keep myself entertained by picking up all the chairs and whatnot. Bring five products. What the fuck does that mean? What is a product? What does that look like? Where where do they spawn? 
What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about, game? Are they on my mini-map? Are they... Oh, I know. I'll just go to the shopping district. All oh, right, they're the generic present asset. Now that's what I call a good mission. Nope, not up here. At least they're so like weird looking that they they stand out, you know. And they, I think I heard the spawn sound effect. God, I think I remember doing. It. I think I got, I like got to her third part of her mission, and then I failed, and I was just like, "Fuck this bitch! I'm never doing this again." And here I am, doing it again. And you know what's gonna happen again? I'm gonna fail again, and then I'm not gonna finish it. That's that's life in Sonic 06. <sighs> Part of me feels like, oh, I should explore every nook and cranny, you know. But I shouldn't, because that doesn't make any sense. That's not where they. Oh God, Shadow, please don't be trapped in here. Shadow, I refuse to accept that you're trapped in here. There we go. Um, because they're not, right? They're not out. They're not in the nooks and crannies. All the stupid presents are just like out in the open. They're out in the open. Right? Like there's gonna be one over here somewhere. I recall correctly. Oh yeah, I remember I could identify them because the game has like a little hiccup where it has to spawn them in. You can like identify, it literally drops frames in front of your eyes. Can I just, can I buy a present from you, store, please? Ugh, I'm missing one, right? If it's not over here, I'm gonna be screwed. Okay. Well, I am screwed then, because I, I don't know. I sort of explored the whole city now. Whatever. Okay, I heard that. I felt it. I have felt the game hitch, and I heard it. Oh. I think it's in this. Yeah, okay. I had to use the, the glitchiness and, like, the weird audio spawning, like, from it spawning in, in order to identify that shit. Um, okay, now I'm officially sort of lost. Where is she? Is she over here? No, she's over there. Great. Absolutely riveting content. <laughs> I already see people memeing about the Sonic 4 bonus video in chat. Don't worry. Someday. I know I said I would never do it, but that was a lie. Someday. I'm going to drop a four hour long Sonic 4 bonus video. I honestly have thought about it. Like, what would I do? And like, ideas I was kicking around are like, I need to like, reconcile that game, you know, and be like, you know, yeah, the game sucks, but it was, it was going to be a mobile game. All right. That's right. Whoa, the over text boxes are overlapping. Oh god, don't kill her! Don't kill her, the mission just started! Um, but I thought it'd be funny to like go through like the credits of the game and like track down people who actually worked on the game and be like, not harass them, but be like, just talk to them and just talk, treat them like normal human beings and be like, the Sonic 04 sucks, but it's, it's just a game. It's just like a thing that some people made, you know what I mean? You piece of shit. How did, did dare you spawn behind me? Yeah, track them down in real life and dox them and kill them. <laughs> that would be a great fucking video. <laughs> oh, she, damn it, I, I'm not gonna get an S rank. She took some damage. Oh, this is not where I'm meant to go. What, what, what happened to this NPC? I swear to God, I took my eyes off the screen for like two seconds. So it really is just like kill people in this plaza. That that that's the mission, and I was overcomplicating this. Oh boy, look at that. That's some slowdown. That's not slowdown. That's actually a reference to the Matrix.
the last cyber shell video if i did that yet don't worry sonic 4 devs i i i like i was trying to say i wish you no ill will or malice you know what i thought it would be funny to do um like set aside like a every month a day out of every month or something like that just set some time aside and just like mass record a bunch of videos there's like slowdown in the results screen what the fuck look how slow it's going <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to, like, mass record a bunch of videos and schedule them. Like, this is when I was gone from YouTube still, like, you know, like, maybe I'll mass record, like, like hundreds of videos. Like, they wouldn't be good videos. I mean, like, short five minutes. Like, here's my thoughts on this. Like, I don't know. I, wouldn't, I wasn't sure on the logistics. I didn't do it. But, like, mass record hundreds of videos and, like, schedule them to come out over the next, like, 20 years. Like, so even if I was, like, dead, like, I could still be your favorite YouTuber and I could still be delivering content on a regular basis. But... That's too much work, and any work I spend doing that, I should just spend making normal videos like a normal person and to make for normal human consumption. <laughs> this is funny. Normally I would skip forward, but like, this is going so slow, it's actually cracking me up. I got that D rank like I wanted. Okay, I beat this mission. I don't even know what happened last time. I think I died at the beginning of the fucking... Defend mission. That was so easy, but it was so boring. Do you make videos out of spite? Because that description sounded wild. No, I don't make videos out of spite. I only make videos out of love. Even if sometimes it's because I love to hate something. Like Sonic 4. I still feel bad in the sense that... I, I, some people think I was really trying to give like a fair review of that game. And to some degree I did. But I was mostly just memeing and having fun. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't I was trying to shit on the game mostly. What's that? Another medal closer to my 100% completion rating? Don't mind if I do. But, uh... I definitely don't want to be one of those YouTube channels that's, like, only negative. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm not that, right? I haven't really bothered to go back and do, like, a check positive to negative videos. But I do I have plenty of videos just gushing about shit I like. Some of my favorite videos are just, like, you know... I like Sonic Mania. It's a good game, and I like it. I, uh, whatever. I did that mission as Shadow. I'm gonna save. I think I, I think I saved after the mission, but I, I just want to double ch I just want to double save, so I'm not doing that again. Now let's just check out Silver's Hub real quick. Silver's more fun to me, because I can pick up the barrels and the apples. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of Sonic shit to talk about next year, for sure. A new show, a new movie, and a new game. Assuming the game doesn't get delayed. The movie's definitely not getting delayed. It's clearly set in stone at this point. At least, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know anything. Maybe it will. But it seems to me like once they've done they put the trailer out, right? They wouldn't want to delay it after that. We should, have, we should just have a mass. Why the hell is this spawning me over here? Great. Now I have to walk all the way back to town. What a nightmare. As the slowest character across the biggest map. Um, God. I'm not even I'm not even 100 percent sure which way to go. Um, this way, because that that's the swamp, so it's gotta be this way. Yeah, I'll uh I'll 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 do a little Sonic movie video. Um Mraz Murray. 14 like on the first movie before the second movie comes out or maybe I'll just wait till the second movie comes out and then I'll have like a section about the first movie and my thoughts on it before I get to the second movie I don't know but I will talk about the second I mean I'll have to sort of to some degree talk about that first movie um before the second movie I've talked about it a bunch on stream because you know people always want to people are always asking like oh or, I mean not always not like now but like especially when I first started it came back 
It was just a question I received a few times already. Let's just put it that way. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have, like, a dash of silver. I'm doing this slower on purpose. God damn it. I remember that right as soon as I get past the whole map. That's so big. <laughs> I even got your name right. Well, is I just... I know about Merasmus from TF2, so that's that was the... Uh, I was like... I feel like that's got to be the way you say it. And if not, then you're getting the Merasmus pronunciation just because it's, that's funny to me. <laughs> but yeah, we got to troll them. We got to troll the people making that new Sonic movie and convince them that the Knuckles design looks wrong. I was going to say we got to do that, but everyone loves it. Everyone thinks he's so sexy now, so I guess that's not going to work. Look at all these barrels. Look at all these barrels and all this slowdown. There better not be any apples in these fucking barrels. I don't, I don't know how that happened. I guess you, if you release a barrel right next to the wall... It won't, it won't break, it'll just... There we go, there's my apples. Oh, look at all these fruits. Look at all these fucking fruits. Now this is what I'm talking about. Not just apples, we got lemons. Lemon, that is a lemon, right? That's not just like a green apple. Yeah, that's totally a lemon, right? Yeah, right? Wait, it's not a pear, is it? No, it's a lemon. Right? Yeah, it totally is. Yeah, that's my bet too, is... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Metal Sonic in the in Sonic 2 and, and and then like Shadow as the post credits teaser. Or maybe they'll just save Metal Sonic for the post credits teaser and Metal Sonic will be movie 3. So we're never going to get Shadow. It would be weird to see Shadow be on, to be honest cuz like I don't like there, there's really not that much game. Like the Sonic movie is its own thing, so I don't mind like I'm not going to be like sitting there in the theater going, "No, they're ruining the story of Sonic 3 and Knuckles," you know what I mean? Like Whereas Shadow's story is a lot more well defined, you know, what I mean? like in Sonic, in Sonic Adventure 2. So when all the changes like that, all the Maria changes they're gonna make would definitely throw people through a loop, right? Look at this slowdown. Horrible child. What? Sonic? Of course I know. It's Poochie. It's that guy who killed Sonic. He beat the shit out of me. He was like, I'm gonna challenge you, Sonic. What? You wanna know a Sonic? Hmm, let me think. I can't just let you know. Oh, I just realized this means it's canon. It's absolutely canon that Sonic did the Poochie side mission. Who are we? We're here. We're the Soliana boys. We're here to protect Soliana. It's literally just the same fucking thing. I was like, can, is this mission going to be a little different for Silver? No, it's just catch the Soliana boys again. And it's going to be even worse because Silver's slow. He's the slow hedgehog. He's slower than Amy in this game. Maybe they're comparable, but Amy has that sick double jump at least. I guess I guess I guess Silver has the boost. He said there's seven of us. Didn't he just say someone rewind this and say, he said there were seven of us in the previous casting. Now he says catch all six of us. I also I also thought there was five of them, but I guess there's six of them. Whatever. Who I nobody cares about getting the Soliana boys lore correct. Not even the people who made the game. Capture the six children. It's funny he says capture the six children like I'm fucking like Eggman or something. You don't even capture them. You just like touch them. You just walk up to them. This is actually like a problem. Like five minutes of a time limit was already sort of an issue. As Sonic. But it's slow. Silver. And the mission is giving me slow down. I, I don't know how to break it to you. It's not fucking happening. Stop it. You piece of shit. They, they, he squeaks like Pele the dog. What the hell? It's so hard to see these stupid children. I don't even think they show up on the fucking map. What a disaster. This is a disaster of a mission. Ooh, it's chugging. It's chugging. Look at all these NPCs. It's chugging. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The Soliana boys could kill Sonic Man. They would destroy him. That's right. Silver is getting bullied by kids. Ooh. Why is it like? Why did they need to put so many regular NPCs? Like they should have just only had the Soliana boys. I already caught. I just want a big loop. Great. I wasted a minute and a half. 
getting one of the of, of the the deviant children. And there's no like spawning audio cues, like unlike the presence, I should say. Oof. This is pretty bad. This is a pretty bad mission, I gotta say. And I'm definitely not just complaining about it because I'm gonna lose, okay? Definitely not. It's actually just a bad mission. I love the way Silver will just, he just walks off a ledge and like clips through the bench. What is this kid even doing? Like, what is his route? He's just like running on those stairs. Ouch, ouch. He ran into me, I didn't even do anything. It's embarrassing how much faster they are than silver. I mean, they're not really that much faster, but they're like they're they're like almost the same speed, which is pretty bad. I haven't even been keeping track of like the number of kids I've caught, the locations I've already been to. Oh, at least when I'm playing a silver, I can do this. Not that that was the right way to go, but I was like, hey, at least I can get over the water if I need to. Oh. This is like starting to freaking give me a headache over here. It's like some missions the slowdown is beneficial, and I, and I appreciate it. Some missions the slowdown just makes it ten times worse. Yeah, this is sort of like the peak, well, I wanna say the peak of Sonic fur looking like plastic, but they were sort of really leaning into it around this era. I think it looked a little bit better, a little bit more natural in a Unleashed. I don't know, the modern Sonic design in general just sort of has a plasticky sort of look to it. I, th I think the worst it ever looked was in fucking, um, you know what it is, Heroes. Look at this guy just chilling. Not even looking at the ocean, he's looking at like this building. <laughs> oh, what's up, grenade? Yeah, I don't know. You have to you have to show me your cats. You have to put just reply to my latest tweet, the picture of cats. And then I'll look at them. I will look at your cats and then I will have had seen them. Can't show you my cat. Sorry, I don't even have. I don't even have that webcam hooked up. I don't even know where. Okay, it's got to be over there somewhere, but I don't really know where it is. I was gonna say I don't know where it is, but I don't want to make it sound like I just bought a webcam and lost it. Okay, I, I know where it is in general. I just I've never been like a face cam streamer. All right, I just never felt like like oh I need to have a face cam on. I'll post a picture of my cat on Twitter soon. How about that? I have shown my cat on stream, okay? During the one stream I'll ever do with a fucking video cam. Uh, the Earthbound stream. Somewhere in that 24 hours, it wasn't 24, it was probably closer to 20 hours-ish of footage, I show my cat on camera. And yes, I know the exact video and the exact timestamp, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna make you watch the whole thing if you wanna see it. Why does he sound like a fucking cat? What the hell? Is that all you got? I'm not telling you anything about Sonic. Good, I don't need to know anything about Sonic. At this point in the story, I not, I'm not even remotely trying to do th like that. I guess I, oh yeah, I guess I'm going to the old castle. Wait, I'm going to the old castle. I thought Silver's, oh, I was gonna say like, but Silver's final level isn't the Kingdom Valley with Sonic. It's, uh, it's in the future. So fuck, that's like, I thought like, okay, so every one of these hub worlds I thought was like right before the final mission, but I guess Silver's isn't before the final mission because, you know, there's no destroyed future hub world. So I guess if you want to load up this save as Silver, you have to go do those two missions in a row or something. Ooh, 
Ooh, I can't believe I never got this gem. Now that's a gem. Wait, let's see if silver has anything cool at this store. What do you guys think? Yes or no? I think the reason I'm disappointed with uh, Shadow and presumably Silver is I actually remember to like visit the store during the game for these guys, right? Ooh, it's hard to do the... Oh, look at that. Another medal. Another medal. And this one's perfect for Silver. I don't know how you're supposed to get this without dying as Sonic. Okay, I completely missed the medal. That was embarrassing. Let's get that medal, but for real this time. Let's kill Blaze again. I was just saying, is she gone? Is she coming back? Is she ever coming back? She's never coming back. Let's kill her again. Why not? Whoops. No, the apples. Oh, here they are. Let's slow this fucking game. Look, there's already slow down without the apples. Damn it. Silver. Just want to see the apples. Okay, here we go. There is the apples. I mean, they're the lemons, but lemons are kind of apple in a way. Ah! It's so weird. You can, like, accidentally walk on some of these things, like, after you pick them up. You can probably do the weirdest speedrun tech as silver. I gotta, I gotta look up a full playthrough of this game. Because obviously Sonic sections would be weird because you can, you know... Well, actually, you get the gems, those gems I was showing off pretty late in the story, so... I'm sure there's other ways to glitch the game, don't worry. Hey. hey. Right, okay, yeah, see, I did. I bought the... I bought the teleport dash. I bought the... Ground pound. Then I did it. I beat the whole game. I mean, I didn't do every mission. And I didn't get every medal. Someday. Someday I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you guys the 100% run that you guys deserve. Please don't. <laughs> maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm definitely going to check out Project 06 when that comes out. Okay. All right. I know this is a little bit of a short, a shorter one, less exciting, but I just had to, I just had to get this off my chest. I had to finish this game. I had to finish it out. And uh, I will be back. I'll, I'm going to try to start streaming a little bit more regularly while also getting more work done on my videos. Just so people don't, they don't forget that I exist between videos. I'll start streaming a little bit more regularly, hopefully. And uh, but before I leave, of course, I got to show off the best mission in the whole game. Damn it, I was going to scroll down to it all dramatically, but it was right there. Soliana's Apple Festival. Now, this is a great fucking mission. Especially because there's no audio visual feedback you're doing anything correctly and there's no counter on the screen and the mission doesn't end when you can fulfill the requirements i actually looked this up i was so curious apparently the fastest way to do this mission is you get the 50 barrel the 50 apples in the barrels and then if you jump off the edge and like die or kill yourself or whatever that counts as six succeeding because otherwise the only way to do this is you have to spend five five full fucking minutes it's five right it's not like Th three or seven. I think it's five. It's five minutes. Just putting app, putting these apples in barrels. Like this is worth five minutes of the player's time, right? Also, like, there's more than one set of barrels. I always thought it was just these barrels, but there's uh, barrels over there. Should I use these barrels? What the hell is the difference? You also can't even throw the apples in. You have to just like gently drop them in. I wish there was just like a, a, a mission that was just, yeah, the uh, the billiard ball puzzle, but even harder. Because I, uh, I don't know. I feel bad because I didn't have the true, like none of these are going in. I didn't have the true billiard ball experience because I just, it was just from years of seeing other people do it. I sort of had a rough idea. It only took me like 10 minutes. I don't even know. It wasn't that long. It was, it was, I promised people it was going to take me like half an hour and it, it did not take me half an hour, unfortunately. You're not allowed to stand on these barrels. It's kind of funny. Oh, wait, you can. Oh, you can get in the barrel! 
I don't know why the game just refuses to like angle the camera to a point where you can actually like see in the barrel. I don't know why that is. I guess the apples disappear when they go in there. Oh, there is an unused mission with the billiard ball. Interesting. Yeah, this game probably is, or I mean, not probably, I know it has lots of interesting cut content. Like there's so many dialogues and voice lines that got cut out. That's one of the most interesting things I'm excited to see in Project 06 is just restoring a lot of the, god damn it, restoring a lot of the cut content that really had no reason to be cut. Cut just because like, they just like literally did not have time to figure out how to implement it in the game or something. Man, maybe I'm gonna fail this mission. Maybe we'll get to see the, you didn't do enough apples. You did, a, you did a bad job. Really, is that right, Grenade? Chaos X City doesn't plan on adding the hub worlds or missions? Now the missions I understand. I guess maybe he just doesn't want to remake the whole game. He just wants to make the action stages, which is honestly the only part of the game that matters. What about bosses? He's doing the... He's, is he making the bosses? He's got to be making the bosses, right? Or is he not even doing the bosses? Because if you're doing the bosses, when you have to do all... Like, that would be kind of a pain in the ass. Like, especially, like, imagine doing the last boss. Like, Solion... Or Solaris. <laughs> I almost called him Solion. Uh, they are... He probably is because they're selected. Or they're on the menu. They're just not selectable. Okay. If you're doing the stages and the bosses... I'm not gonna be that guy that's like, oh, it's not complete. You, you didn't, you didn't do the hub, but you didn't do the hub world. Like, come on. It would be cool to have like a perfectly playable, like 100% accurate recreation of Sonic 06 with all the cutscenes and all the everything. But like, you know, I understand why, you know, I understand why you would not want to do that. Plus, like, I don't think Sega would care even if he did do that. But like, you know. There's a slight difference between a PC remake of part of the game versus literally just the game, the whole exact game. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like that, the rat jacket. This is supposed to be Soliana's cherished apple festival. It's just like a bunch of apples and some barrels in the middle of nowhere. Zero human beings, no one cheering or anything. Just that generic music. And I kind of like this weird generic song, but it's like so weird. Yeah, I wish we could just live in a world like that where Sega could just be like, wow, this Project 06 thing is cool. Um, I guess I'm just saying Sega hire this man. And I was just going to say that with more words. But like, they should just be able to take what exists, like, and just sell that. Well, I don't know. I'm not like, what am I saying? I want to have to pay for the thing that I can get for free already. But like, it would just be cool, you know? have Sega like acknowledge it but I understand why they won't or probably won't right I'd be surprised if Sega acknowledged it I guess it's not off the table right have they ever acknowledged it does anyone know they can't have right like how would that have even happened where would they have acknowledged it wait am I pulling sometimes it looks like I'm pulling apples out but I gotta just be I'm like pulling it I'm pulling them out from the gaps between the barrels see Sunday asks, how many do you have to get in you have to get in 50 but like I said earlier the game doesn't tell you. That's why the first time I did this mission, I was like, oh, I failed. I guess I must have failed. And then the mission, the timer ran out, and I was like, oh, I guess I failed. And then it was like, you did a great job! I haven't been counting. I have to have gotten 50 in of this, right? Right? I have been doing kind of a shitty job because I've been talking to chat, too. Right, grenade. Okay, obviously they're like aware of it. Like, like you know, like Katie and the people you know in charge of the Sonic Twitter. Like, there's no way they're not aware of it. But I don't know. Whoa. Why does this guy get to get have a name, Paganini? Like, why? Like, why is there this weird like faux Italian sort of vibe that they give off from Soliana sometimes? I don't even know. Great. Great. Wait. How do you get a good rank on this mission? Because it always takes five minutes. Unless you do the thing I explained earlier, which is you put 50 in and then jump off a cliff. How did it take too long? Silver. It took exactly as long as he made me take. let it take. Like, wait, does the mission end if you get like every single apple in the barrel? Because that's not fucking happening. Uh, 
<sighs> well. So let's just chill to the, uh, theater, the theater room music, the extras menu. But I'll, I'll go to the theater room so you get this cool pattern in the background. So that was the stream. I know I know this was a short one. But uh, like I was just like, oh, I'm gonna, I'll do Sonic 06 and I'll start something. I don't want to start anything because then I'll have a whole another unfinished thing hanging over my head. Um, but thanks for swinging by, everyone. And uh, I'll have another real stream before too long. I mean, at least I nobody was expecting this because like, it's only been like a week since my last stream. And like normally I take one to six months between my streams, right? So like we even uh so this is just a bonus stream I, I, I can't I almost like, I can't even use the word bonus anymore I've ruined that word for myself but like not ruined like I'm, I'm I don't like it but like it just has all these other connotations is what I mean you know I can't just have a bonus stream because I won't you know you know what's up chat I know stop, stop saying bonus <laughs> okay all right um yeah yeah everyone have a happy new year I'm probably not gonna stream again before new year but uh I had fun. I had a fun time playing Sonic 06 with you guys. Thanks to everyone who swung by. Thanks to everyone who watched the VODs who didn't have a chance to be live. Like I said, I want to be a more regular streamer. Also, one of the main reasons because like people never know when I'm going to stream. Like you just have to be on call. Like like at any point during the month, I could just start streaming, and you know, <laughs> I could at least I could at least be like, hey guys, I'm going to start streaming in half an hour on Twitter. But I never I don't do that either. I just go boom. I hit go live and I post my. I'm streaming tweet at the exact same time. I know that's not, like, proper behavior for streamers, but whatever. It is what it is. I guess I'm not really a proper streamer yet, so... Yeah, I'll try and make streaming regularly more of a New Year's resolution. Why not? Um, and don't worry, Grenade. I'll go look at your cats as soon as the stream's over. So, yeah, imagine a world where I give warning for a stream. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Nocturne, I just lucked out on being on Twitter at the right time. Yeah, I would say being on Twitter, or I guess if you're just a Twitch head, if you're always on Twitch, because you'll see the little notification, right? It's like, Cybershell went live. But I feel like most people probably got redirected from my Twitter post. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised, honestly, because I'm such a, I, I'm not, people think I'm, I'm not, I'm, ugh, I'm like getting tongue tied over this. I'm not trying to like shit on myself too hard, because I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be too self deprecating about it or whatever, but like, I'm not a good streamer in the sense that I'm not a regular streamer and, you know, I don't warn people what I'm going to do and I, I don't always, you know, finish things I say I'm going to do. But, uh, so that's why I'm really grateful for everyone who wants to show up. That's what I was trying to say is I appreciate it, you know, appreciate it. I think I've said this, like, some variation of that, like, eight times now. <laughs> yeah, if I start streaming regularly, I can actually get a fucking Twitch partner affiliate, and I can have that stupid subscribe button, right? And I can accept my bits, my precious bits. Oh, yeah, and I get emotes. That's what everyone wants, right? They want the Cybershell emotes. <laughs> yeah. A good streamer would streamer. You know, I might, I was actually thinking I might be streaming Mario. As in one of my next games, Mario, Super Mario RPG, just as like a, because that'll be like, one of the things I really, I really enjoyed streaming Earthbound because I just had fun, you know, hanging out with chat and talking to Mello, but that was another game, like, I could actually talk to chat, I could actually read chat and play the game at the same time, you know what I mean, because it's an RPG. You, just go back and watch the first half hour of this stream, and like, you'll get like 45 seconds of silence before I go like, oh, 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 I'll read one thing from chat, because like, I have to, I really, I had to focus, I had to give so much focus to that last episode. <laughs> Duracell, I got I would love to get sponsored by Duracell just for the meme. I don't really want or seek out sponsorships, like, just because I'm lazy mostly. <laughs> but, you know, Duracell, I'd be happy with. That'd be fun. I, I don't think they sponsor streamers, unfortunately. Oh, Banjo-Kazooie is not a bad idea. Banjo-Kazooie I might stream eventually just because that's like... I used to just yearly have a tradition where I'd play 100% Banjo-Kazooie in one sitting because it's just such a nice, tightly designed game. I like Tui, but, like, you can't be fucking 100%ing Tui in one sitting. That's a ordeal. Um, anyways, I could uh, sit here all day just shit talking with chat and whatnot. But I gotta get going. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta actually end the stream now, like I said I was gonna do. Thank you very much, guys, for hanging out, everyone in chat. Really appreciate all the kind words. Thank you, Slushy Bun. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you for hanging out.
Thanks for joining me on Sonic 06. Pretty... Look, I just I just noticed this. Look on screen right now. Look at look at the text at the bottom of the screen. View Sonic s s story events. Like, why is that extra S there? What the hell? What is that? Is that that's not supposed to be there, right? Uh, this fucking game. This fucking game. Raid. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to raid. I don't. How do you raid people? <laughs> Someone to explain to me. Like I'm a baby streamer who doesn't know how to do things because I, I don't. Is it like an on-site option? How do you do this? I guess I'll hang out while I figure this out. Oh, you just have to type. Oh, okay. You type it in a chat. You type it in a chat. Interesting. Um. Ugh. No, nobody really I don't want to stream I don't really want to raid any of these people like I don't want to raid like a big streamer like Germa that's cringe I don't want to be like oh I, I can sure like you know you know hey look at me I'm trying to get attention for raiding you now I'm just gonna when I have someone like that's like you know my account size like uh, like you know or smaller I'll happy to raid them but I, I this is what happened last time I explained I need to follow more people on Twitch I need to get I need to just have more accounts that I'm following so I have more potential raid targets Okay, next time I'm gonna raid someone. So <laughs> I feel bad about this now. I'm gonna follow a bunch of people on Twitch, and next time I'm gonna raid someone. Um, thank you for swinging by. It's been over 20 minutes since I said, okay, stream's over. I'm ending the stream now, and the stream's over. The stream's actually over. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love all you, I love all you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, I know I said that last time, fans are dragging. But I'll, this time, I mean it. <laughs>